All right, let's 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 open up the uh, the computer. I really should send Kenzo some uh, some help. Fun stuff. All right. <clears throat> so hammer. All shall be revealed, allegedly. Hammer. It's hammer time. Or ham time, rather. All right, and R. Show me the hammer. Here we go. <laughs> Apparently, this is important. It's so important that the arrows are glitching. And it's a huge memo. Here we go. Progress report, Indira Sen. According to Naja Kerensky, who would admit to be the most controversial geologist of Vita Base, the traces of active volcanism under the base and in the general region of Olympus Mons possess the characteristics of an organically engineered system. Kerensky believes that the active volcanic vents of eons past were adapted into a form of piped heating. The pit chamber is a particularly striking example of this organic engineering. The necropolis was powered by volcanism with the volcano's stupendous power harnessed and maintained by a number of checks and balances. If just a few of these regulatory mechanisms are disturbed, nausea reckons the whole system could be could blow. Interesting. I think I already know uh, where we're going to do that. Nowhere is this more evident than the basalt plug in the fissure just below the rim of the vent in the pit chamber. Yeah, that's that's that thing that we examined earlier. An immense pressure of molten lava has built up behind that basalt barrier so much that the plug is fractured. But the Karak Karak balancing mechanism should keep the impending eruption at bay for maybe a million years or more. However, Naja is understandably nervous about the Gotter Damrong explosions shipped in from Earth. They have the explosive potential to blast a hole clean into clean through into a hitherto to inaccessible caverns, but they also have the capacity to shatter the basalt plug. According to Naja's calculations, the pressure of the release magma would result in a major eruption that would wipe out both the necropolis and Vita base. Sounds good to me. So keep those explosives away from the pit chamber fissure or we'll blow ourselves sky high. Sounds good, Lyconius. Thanks for hanging out, buddy. Sleep well, dude. Thanks for stopping by. Take care of yourself. Have a great Tuesday. All that stuff. All that good stuff, buddy. And we will catch you later, my dude. See ya, sir. All right. So we just learned that the mu the course is a musical artifact that the obelisk produces a faint noise and struck by a human. Okay. Uh, so now you know the only way to charge the course is to have something large and organic strike it. That's why it's important to realize that the trimorph hitting the obelisk, you won't be able to place the artifact in the obelisk by yourself. You're going to need some help luring the trimorph away from it. Bring Karn down the necropolis. Oh, no. We got to get another character down here. You'll need Kenzo for something else later. Okay. And have the person with the course wait at point three while the second person waits at the excavation site. Switch the second person, walk back to the obelisk area. When it's finished, don't move. You'll see the trimorph running in place. You won't be in any danger unless you move around. So charge your change your first character. The trimorph will completely ignore the first character. So just take the chorus and place in the obelisk. Move both your characters to safety, and the trimorph will return to the obelisk. When he strikes it. You won't see it on PS1. You'll assume he does. He'll charge a course and lose his invincibility, and now you can kill him. Interesting. And retrieve the charged course. Oh. Okay. Leave Karn. Okay, so apparently we will need Karn, but I think I think we might be able to do this puzzle uh, on our own, honestly. Like, it sounds like we can just... Because th there was a puzzle that I needed two people for that I later discovered I could literally do with one person. So I think there's a way to... Uh, I think there's probably a way to do with one person by just literally... Cheesing. Cheesing the bastard. But, um... Let me check on where I have Karn right now. Because I forgot where I put him. Where did I put Karn? Is he still in the big room? Yeah, he's just been chilling here this whole time. Um, how is he on ammo? Uh, his ammo stock kind of sucks right now. Although we have, we have Piccolo ammo. So what I'm going to do, um, is, let's see. Transport. How's he doing health wise? He's doing okay health wise. Oh, and he's got a healing item as well. Um, and he's going to need a lens and Kenzo is going to need a lens too. If he goes down there. So we'll need to... Ah, shit. I don't know where I'm going to need... Uh, K 
Kenzo next. Um, so let's do this. So I'm going to need to get him downstairs, apparently. Uh, that sucks ass. <laughs> um, just thinking real quick. So I think first what I'll do is I will... Let's see. Let's get our piccolo ammo. I'm going to use the computer in this room. So I can at the very least just burn a save. Doesn't slip back inside. The little lady to the front porch. Not even the spires. That's good. That was nice of you to extract the spiders. I, I try and be humane and extract the extract the the insects since my my cats or my dogs like one one of them are gonna you know try and try and try and try and do something. All right, perfect. Ken or Karn, you are now my my new uh save scumming buddy. Because yeah, this is this is a computer that I can easily uh, burn saves on. All right, so I'm gonna try and get a uh, homegirl back to the chamber where Ass Boy is. So let's. Uh, okay, how's she doing on ammo? Um, we are using the Dillinger, and we've got a s still a good s steady stock of Dillinger ammo. Perfect. All right, so let's get her back over there, Mister, where Mister Big Stuff is. Oh, good. Everyone's waking up. Nappy time is over. Spider Town, when you took a vacation once, calms up blown webs. Oh, yeah. Old spider family. Fuck me. We used to get, uh, not so much after we got, like, pest control to treat the treat the outside of our house, but, uh, we used to get orb weaver spiders on the front of our house. Just big old, big old chonky spiders. Big old chonky spiders with ginormous webs that they'd apparently construct overnight, and then in the morning they'd take it down. It was really, it was really interesting. Like they build these super elaborate like webs, and they just be chilling there overnight, and then like in the morning it would be gone. They like legit deconstruct their own uh, their own webs. That's wild. Yeah, orb weavers. Gi big old chonky spooters. Big old chonky spooters. All right, shit. Is this the section? Okay, this is. I think this is the section. Let's verify. Okay, yeah. So apparently he's hitting the pillar, but on the on the PS1 version, you don't you, you you don't know that. Okay, perfect. Okay, so let's now switch to Karn. I'm gonna burn another save, and I'm gonna see if I can. Uh, I'm just gonna see if I can um, if I can cheese this. Weavers with a shiny or weaver, but they're just forest strain. It looks like bad popcorn. <laughs> That's funny. It's bad popcorn. It's evil popcorn. It is evil popcorn. All right. Um, thirteen, sixteen. All right. Let's go ahead and just do the the save I just did. The the staggered save. In the same slot. All right. So apparently we got to put the artifact. Oops. We gotta put that artifact in the pillar um, while the dude is not at the pillar. So we gotta get him to chase us. So maybe we can, you know, pop it in there and then just run away. Let's try. All right, asshole, here. Wait, no, God damn it. La 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 fuck oh shit Okay so there it is so actually yeah I think it's possible There's there's a very there's a very short window There's a very very short window I would Oh yeah see we hear a little bong 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 noise There's a very short window Shit it's gonna get us That's okay that's why we saved but yeah, I think there's I think we can when we're walking past it, we can pop the thing in and keep running. I don't think we need to do it all complex with two characters. 
I think that walkthrough was invented back when speedrunning wasn't a thing. Unless, unless there's an animation of us putting the thing in the thing, then, then, then I can see that being a pain in the pain in the rear. All right, so let's try it again. So we're gonna run past it. We're gonna get the pillar in view, and then hopefully insert the item inside. But yeah, that's really vague. Without a walkthrough, I would have never shit guessed that. Oh, shit. So the prompt doesn't freeze, doesn't freeze stuff. So yeah, we do have to lure him away. But that being said, we might still be able to do it. We just gotta pace ourselves a little bit. I think it's possible. I 100% think it's possible. But yeah, the, the game literally doesn't tell you like, oh yeah, you're gonna need to dis distract this fucker and lure it away. Thank the heavens for gamefacts.com. Yeah. I normally try and never use walkthroughs for anything, but like, <laughs> this game has just turned into a, a walkthrough happy uh, experience. I've given up. But I mean, I try and explore as much as I can. Then when I get stuck, I'm like, all right. All right. So it, it's a, uh, yeah. All right, let's, let's see how far it goes. What? What? Hey, hold on a sec. I don't think that's supposed to... Oh, you know what? We fell into a pit. We fell into a pit. I didn't even see that. I was like, why are we... Like, why is our shadow visible through, like, the terrain? That seems... That seems kind of weird. That seems... That seems a little weird. Wild. Weird and wild. All right. So, I do recall that we were here. We were in this section, and the dude seemed like he was kind of, like, glitching out. Yeah, right here. So, maybe we can keep him there. Yeah, okay. So, he there there is somewhat a delay. There There is a brief delay, although I bet he returns to the pillar. Let's see. This looks like the pillar right here. Maybe? Maybe not. Let's see. Okay. Okay, he does return to the pillar. Um... Maybe I might be able to do a loop de loop. I just I don't I don't believe that we have to use two characters. I think that's just one strategy. That's just one one spec speculated str strat. All right, so he turns around. Shit. It's really close. And thanks, Origins, for the clippy clip. Patreon files. Oh, nice. Enjoy. Enjoy the Patreon files. Alright, so I gotta establish the perfect path. The perfect path to the... To the pillar. The perfect path to the filler. The, the, or the, the pillar, not the filler. All pillar, no filler. Oh, shit. Alright, well, apparently you can get stuck on, uh, stuck on that box. Can't pass through there. I wish they were like a little bit slower so we could like explore the area and see like what uh, what we can slip through and what we can't. All right. 1319, that's the one. Yeah, I bet we can, th this game is buggy enough to the point where we can make that motherfucker get stuck on something. All we have to do is insert that into a pillar we don't need to bring down a second character just to do all this bullshit. 
At least not yet. I swear it. I swear it. I swear we just need a single character. I swear it to you all, and I will prove it. All right, uh, poopy. Oh my god. Come on, get stuck on something. Get oh no! Not me, don't get stuck on me. You think if I had a banana peel, I could just throw it on the ground and get stuck. We'll try it a couple more times, and then if it's just, like, impossible, we'll get a second character down there. I'll just give, uh, I'll give my submachine gun over to Karn, and then he can, uh, he can clear a path. And there's actually another submachine gun going down into the, uh, into the necropolis. All right, so it seems like the only way I can interact with the pillar is in the actual view where, like, there's a there's another camera angle here. Use obelisk with, oh, the artifact, and then just, you know, fucking peace out, just like this, let's fucking go! Easy peasy. Come get some. Told you it would work. Screw this walkthrough. More like... More like crawl through. Or lack thereof. Alright, let's use a computer. Alright, let's save again. Now that, now that I've completely bypassed that sequence... <laughs> Speedrun strats. Let's go. Alright, um... I will stagger that to the middle slot. All right, now we can go get our thing, our thingy, a thingy, ma dingy, our ba our clangy bangy. I knew it was possible. See the hit the hit boxes slash selection selection boxes on some of these like, just some of these like surfaces are just very uh, finicky. So all right, let's uh, consult the the thing. All right, so. Take the chorus, place in the obelisk. Now both of your characters to safety. Trimorph will return to the obelisk. When he strikes the obelisk, he'll charge the chorus and loses his invincibility. Now you can kill him with your flare gun and retrieve the chorus from the niche. All right. So apparently now, now he's killable. Now this, apparently this dude's killable now. Bye bye. Hell yeah. Got him. Ooh, what's that? That looked important. Apparently, in killing him, some mysterious thing charged up, too. Alright, well, let's get my charged chorus item. This thing. Uh, thanks, Firefly. I appreciate it. Alright, now what do we do? Um, alright, our chamber. Charged chorus and the number four dorm tag. Go to point four and search the chest for some items. Now head to the northern circle on the map and enter the altar room. You'll find another one of those weird statues like you saw in the Geo Lab. See a spire on the platform. The whole refer to the altar and chorus notes for the clues to this puzzle. Okay. Alright, so where are we? Altar puzzle. Alright, so. Number four dorm tech. Go to point four, search the chest for some items, head to the northern circle on your map, and you'll enter the altar room. All right, let's look at the map. So, the northern circle is going to be this thing up here. Um... We are currently this may this this or this is the explodey blow up section. Um, 
So these these points are supposedly numbered. Well, there's only a one here. Um, oh wait, there's a one, there's a two here, there's a three here. It's very vague, and it might be my it might be my filter that's causing it to be weird. Um, we might be at point three actually, based on the way this is laid. Although this looks like where that crane is, so. We might be here. Let's see. Let's let's see what that. Let's see what the walkthrough says. Um, point location point four. So we are currently in point three. Okay, we are in point three. So if we hang a right, we can just follow the path all the way through and go to point four. All right, let's do it. So all we need to do is stick to the right. Um, let's get our Dillinger gun on it's so funny like we spent the we spent the majority of like the first chunk of the game playing as just kenzo and karn without a gun mind you because the game just decided we're, we're, we're not worthy of having a gun um and just going through shit and then final and 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 matlock diane matlock the chick we're playing as right now she she started the game with a gun but she was trapped in a friggin' airlock so it's just not not happening um but yeah now now we're doing like the last segment as her. And it's possible we could have done this segment as any character, but I think it's just ironic that now we're finally like just going balls to the wall as her and just doing doing a bunch of stuff. Okay, this looks uh this looks important. Oh, I see. Yeah, we turned her okay, we turned around after I went through this section, so I did kind of skip it. Oh shit. Alright, go. Go 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 go. This is wild. The final, right? Yeah, exactly. All right, this is the altar section. Apparently there's a big important puzzle here. All right, so. Looks like a cathedral. Martian Gothic. Martian Gothic! She says the name of the game, roll credits. Roll credits. All right, what's this? Something right here. Let's see what this is. Examine altar. All right, some weird floaty shit here. I don't know what it is. Dead. Wait, dead body. What happened to him? That's a dead body. Okay. Well, can we statue? Uh, I see where Pigman got his inspiration. Hmm. That's implying right there that the stone that's been resonating above ground was man-made. All right, so let's try using it with the charged chorus. Let's see what happens. Okay, now what? Oh shit, look, it's glowing. I swear to shit, we better not need that fucking tuning fork that's like way above. Oh shit. Well, now we know how that dude died. <laughs> what the balls. All right, uh, that was weird. All right, hang on. Uh, let me scroll down. All right. Um, strange lights. Arkham door. It's for some oh, I see. Hold on. So you need to modify it. It's so like all the fluctuates. There's a pattern. When the light goes down. Run to the center. Insert the tag. Get off the altar. When the light returns, it will. Oh, what? That is friggin' weird. So <laughs> resonating on tune exactly. So apparently, um, there's a. A, a door tag that we need to insert into the elder. That literally makes no fucking sense, but okay. So here's what we need to do. Here's what we need to do. First, I need to determine who has dorm tag four. Oh my god. I'm gonna assume uh Okay, Kenzo has it. Perfect. Okay, I know at least I know where it is. 
Um, so I need to get Kenzo over over to um, a point where he can send the the dorm tag down. Um, I guess the director's room would probably be the best bet for that. So, all right, uh, let's go ahead and I need to get her to a safe place first. Um, so was this after, you know what? This is after I inserted the thing, but before I killed the, um, the Trimorph. All right. All right. Trimorph is already vulnerable. I just got to shoot him. Goodbye. Asshole. All right. So now we're in a safe place. Um, so let's grab the chorus. Now let's switch over to Kenzo. Okay, let me check with Karn real quick. Resonating out of tune. <laughs> All right, so Karn only has one uh, health item. Um, shit. Kenzo could really, really use that right now. Let's see, but there's no other transport chamber he has access to, so I'm just going to have to... Uh, I'm going to have to clear a path. All right, so he's got the Dillinger already equipped. Alright, just gonna have to leave guns guns blazing. Guns blazing. Have at you, snake. Come at me, bro. Alright. That's one. Alright, so we can just go here. There's one enemy here. So we can do two things. First, let's take this dude out. Ooh, critical shot. I love it. Um, so we are going to have to send green tag dorm dorm tag four um, down. We are going to need to get him to a safe place. So yeah, there's a. I have to. I have to do this kind of in a particular order. All right, this bitch is going to wake up. She always does. Come on, get her up, get up, get up. Ooh, this is very close call. All right. Yeah, his health is, like, not happening. This this chick always ruins our day. All right, back tube. Let's send four through. All right, so now that's going to go to her. Now, I need to get out of this room. Because for whatever reason, is if you are, a, if you are around an enemy as any other character, um... And if you kill that, if you kill, if you kill an enemy as one character, and then you switch to another character, that the enemy you just killed is gonna come back if it's in the same room as your character. So let's do baby steps, baby steps. All right, how are we doing on? Okay, we got some saves free on this computer. Perfect. So now what we need to do? <laughs> this is ridiculous shit. So basically, let's go ahead and save on our oldest slot. I learned the save staggering technique from Fatal Frame. It's just, it's, it's better that way. Um, obviously, back in the day, before I before I did that, I was just like, oh yeah, just say we're the same slot. No, you gotta, you gotta stagger them saves. Very important. All right, so now what we gotta do is we need to um, go to the tube system. We gotta grab tag four. Perfect. I love it when the Dillinger does uh, critical hits. My favorite. All right, back tube. All right, let's pull uh, pull tag four. All right, we're just gotta. Hey, asshole. Well, that, that 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 took that took some extra umph to take that bastard out. All right, I think this is the correct way. Maybe. Yeah. All right. Yeah, this should be the right one. Wait. Now I'm not so sure. This. Yeah. This feels like the like the way we came. Hold on. 
Hang on. Let's see. Um. Oh no, it's this one. It's this one. It's this far one. It is the far one. Although this is a section that I have not traversed yet. Oh, cool. He got everything he needs and then he he, he went sleepies. All right. Her too. All right, nothing there. And nothing there. No treasure. Damn it. How are we doing on health? All right, doing doing fine health-wise. Matlock is killing it. Literally. All right, I feel like we already we already did take this dude out and we searched his body, so fuck it. Let's just move. In fact, yeah, that's right. I did go through this section. I just didn't uh, progress. <laughs> oh shit. Go! <laughs> Crab Rangoon! To your doom! Crab Rangoon to your doom! Alright. Alright, so apparently what we need to do. According to the to to the machine, the machine animations. Cool overhead view. Martian Gothic. She said it again. All right. There's a dead guy. You wouldn't know it's a dead guy without. What happened? What happened to him? It's funny that. Uh, Diane Matlock is apparently 25 years old, but she sounds like a 60-year-old woman. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to use the charge chorus on this thing, and we also need to put tag 4 on it, and now we need a biz ounce. Wait for this to glow and then go away. All right. Now we need to run on, grab tag 4, escape. Now we should be able to enter... Uh, Hey, look at this Arkham tag. It's all, it's all like decolorized. It's funny. It's all grayscale. All right. So essentially, we had to, for whatever reason, do, do shit to that. So now we can send that back to Kenzo, and then he can enter uh, dorm four. And apparently, there's something in there we need. All right. So we just need to, you know, not die. <laughs> Going back to the tra the transportation tube. Wait, there might actually be one right here. Yeah, fuck yes there is. Oh, that makes me very happy. Shout out to Crab Rangoon for always thwarting my progress. All right. Use vac tube. All right, we're, so we're going to send the Arkham tag up. We're going to send, uh, I'll send him a couple of health boosts. Um, we've got a decent amount of ammo in every direction, so let's just give him everything he needs. Some piccolo ammo. Piccolo ammo. Teeny tiny bullets. Teeny tiny bullets. Some piccolo ammo. Uh, some Dillinger ammo. Just get him stocked. Stocked for, stocked for combat. All right, send this up. Uh, we need to get her to a safe place now. Which actually technically would be back at that shitty altar. Oh, fuck. But, ah, uh, tank controls. Also, this game has a quick turn. I totally forgot that this game has like a, t has a quick turn uh, mechanism. Oh, my God. Running against the wall. This is not good. This is not good. <laughs> this is very bad. How are we doing health-wise? All right. Let's just burn this last health drink. Run against the wall. God damn it. Hit boxes. Ugh. All right. All right. Just got to get her to a safe place. Oh shit. <laughs> oh my god. I wish there was a weapon to just kill these fuckers. But there isn't. It's not fair. 
All right, now she's in a safe spot, so now we can go back to Kenzo and get the shit that uh, we sent up to him and see what's in uh, Dorm 4. All right, so basically now what we're going to do is I'm going to set us up for success. So we're going to burn a save. Burn a save. <sighs> Thanks for hanging out, everybody. Appreciate it very much. Hope you were all enjoying this madness. All right, so now what we got to do is I'm sure all the zombies are awake again. Maybe. <laughs> maybe not. Yes, no, maybe so. All right. You are not awake, but you are waking up. So now I gotta go to the, the hatch, get my items. This stupid chick's gonna probably wake up again as she loves to do. All right, grab all my things. Let's heal. Let's flip around, get in position, get ready to make, to bust some skulls. Bust the skull. There we go. All right, so now we gotta go to dorm four. Let's do it. Also, I'm gonna burn a save right here. <laughs> Since this computer has, yeah, quite a few saves. All right, uh, central. Oops, nope, wrong one. Try this again. Twenty. Yeah, let's do that one. Perfect. All right, let's go to dorm four and learn the secrets of the universe. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see, we'll see what happens. All right, Um. so in order to do that, we need to exit here. We need to hang a left. It's actually not that far away, thankfully. We got the Sayonara gun too. In case we wanna kick maximum amounts of bunghole. All right, so Rainbow Door is on our left. Crab Rangoon is there. Um, there's our airlock. I th think Dorm 4 is through here, maybe. Ah, Sharon's, the Sharon Stone con Convention. Let's go the other way. I think there's two ways into, into Dorm 4, actually. All right, I'm going to... I think this is it. Let's see. Yeah, this is the one. Perfect. Awesome. It's literally right there. Thank butts. All right, let's let's uh, let's discover the secret of the universe. Let's see what's in here. Now this is really Whoa. Weird. Cool color drain, and it's full of phantoms. Phantoms? What? What does that mean? Come again? Keypad. Now, how do I enter colors on a new? Oh, computer? I got the I got the code for this. I got the code for this. Oh, this is weird. All right, I I did um, copy down some colors. Oh shit! But we might need something to read these values. All right. Well, maybe there's something in here. But let's uh, let's see first. Maybe we maybe we find something in here. Secrets of the universe. All right, there's a vac tube. The Arkham Dorm. Apparently, all the secrets of the universe are in here. <laughs> Allegedly. Oh 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 oh. oh. Okay, I know where we are. Okay, that's that tunnel. Yikes! Nobody come in here. All right, let's see. So there's that one locker over here with the with the with the weird color thing. There's also a tube. A low-tech vacuum tube. The color codes came from that room that Karn was in. Actually, I think he's still there. New kids on the block. Uh oh oh. Alright. 
So, all right, so there's only that one thing. So now what do we need to do in order to make this work? Let's see. Um, all right, we did the altar puzzle. So now we're in the Arkham dorm. Uh, welcome to the Twilight Zone. You'll need Oda's note to solve the first part of this puzzle. The note has color sequence. You'll need to open this locker. Trouble figuring out blue is the darkest shade of gray. Yellow is the lightest. The two other colors in between remaining. Apply this to the button panel. You shouldn't have any problems entering the code. Okay, perfect. Um, so let's look at the numbers. So uh, in accordance with basically, let's see, there's four colors, it seems like. And there's a total of five. Basically, this these are values that I lifted from the uh, from the big room that Karn is currently in. Um, that we did briefly, because I was like, fuck it, let's get these colors now. Um, so... Oh, actually, oh, oh, I literally have this copied down. Okay, perfect. So red, blue, red, green, yellow, blue. Okay. Light wavelength, numerical value of yellow, shade, and Sager's painting. Okay, so red, blue, red, green, yellow, blue. Okay, so based on the tint, yellow is this. Green is probably this. Blue is... Blue... Blue is probably the darkest, and this is probably red. So let's see. So red, blue, red, green, yellow, blue. Let's see if it worked. Fuck yes. Let's go. Hell yeah. All right. What's what's in the locker? What are the secrets of the universe? Now, how do I enter colors on a numerical keypad? What are the secrets of the universe? Fuck, there's more. All right, so... What's the... Oh, locker. Light wavelength, numerical value of yellow, shade, and Sager's painting. Okay, so then that's yellow... I think it's 5637 because I have 563.7 nanometers. So let's see. 5637. Yes! Hell yeah. Passcode, airlock five. Wait. I didn't realize there was a passcode. All right, anyway. 9689. That's very close to 69. All right. 9689, airlock five code. All right, so now what? Now what do we do? Um. Okay, so we did that. Wait. There's something else that's going to be in here later? All right, let's see. When you arrive at Airlock 5, there'll be a ghost zombie guarding it. Oh, I remember that. Let him have it with the sign art. Oh, enter the code. Okay. The r the room with the floaty, the weird floaty zombie. That's that's where we need to go now. Um, How did we get there? That was accessible via... I think it was via here, actually. Let's see. No, let's go the other way. Or we gotta go the long way. The crank won't work. Damn it. Alright, is this, uh... Okay, damn it, we gotta go the long way. Alright, so now we gotta go to where... Yeah, that shitty floaty zombie was. Or the, the glowy zombie, rather. But first, we gotta clear a path. Oh, shit! Oh, my God. Oh fuck, I I did hear a zombie drop, but I just didn't. Alright, that's that sounds like a dropping noise. I feel like every time a zombie's attacked us and then we've immediately counterattacked, um, they drop really quickly. I feel like there's a there's a there's a it's kind of a rhythm to it. All right. Let's keep moving. Keep moving. Let's keep moving. Keep moving. All right. So now here's that shitty dorm with that trimorph that I just don't care to try and even kill. Yikes. 
That's terrifying. <laughs> but it works! I guess we could have technically gone the other way, now that I'm thinking about it. Yeah, we could have just gone the other way in the, uh, in the dorm. Alright, well, it is what it is. It's fine. We're close by anyway. Alright, I think this is the door with the shitty McButt brains. No, alright, here's the Sayonara weapon. Oh my god, that took a lot of hits. They're getting stronger! How are we doing on weapon, or on ammo? Um, okay, we're okay on ammo. Alright, so now, floaty zombie door. I don't know if it's that one, or if it's one of these. Let's see. Okay, here we go. Airlock 5. Alright, we gotta hit this dude with the happy, fun Sayonara weapon again. Peace out, asshole. Oh, cool. We missed. Awesome. Try that again. Asshole. All right. Let's see what's behind door number five. It's going to be... The code is 9689. Oops. 9689. All right. Let's see what's in here. The secrets of the universe. Ooh, two, two spacesuits. Examine suit. Suits intact. Tanks full of air. Oh shit, full of air. That means we might be able to actually leave this place. Open the suit. Yeah. Oh, cool. Awesome. This thing's still fucking with us. Can't forget about that. My favorite. Alright. So. The suit's intact. Tanks full of air. Okay, yeah, there are two suits. I was like, am I... The suit's in... Alright, so... What? Open... I don't know if I should open that door yet. Maybe I should put a suit on first. I don't know. Cra cra crazy idea, I know. All right, so what does it want me to do? Examine suit. If you open the Eva suit, nothing seems to happen. All right. Uh, all right, apparently we can go this way. Oh, look at that, I've got a suit on now. Wow, I'm in, I'm in the outside. I have escaped the base. All right, apparently there's uh, some shit we got to do out here. Dead body. Throat ripped. Who attacked him out here? Uh-oh. Oh, so there's another Scion cell. Um, healing items, some Diabolus ammo. And <laughs> now we have no inventory space. Awesome. Da -da. There's like a grave or something. Oh, sh oh, what? Soft and slow, oh, it's talking. Going back. Like sands, like time, back to the beginning. I am the first, reborn of the red soil. My vision filled with the blue ghost of an ancient ocean. Come with us down into the red dust and rise again. That sounds like a bunch of crazy shit. Oh god. No, fuck off. How about you just leave me the hell alone? You piss off. I've got a weapon and I know how to use that. It's called a sayonara. Oh shit. God damn it. All right. Oh my god, can we stop missing? There we go. Wow. <laughs> That's ridiculous. 
All right, so healing item. Um, oh, red sand. What? Shit. Well, I definitely need this healing item. So, and it looks like I've got a ton of a uh, ton of cells in my uh, weapon. So, all right, maybe I can find a way to uh, make my way back. Sorry, what's this red sand? A small bag of Martian sand. It's the reddest motion sand I've ever seen. Okay. So, let's see. Is there... I see an hourglass sitting out in the open. Pick it up. There's one more area. I need to explore. It's in the extra stone. Okay. Red sand. Oh, hourglass. Huh. Interesting. Um. All right. So I am very low on inventory space. <laughs> let's see. Let's see if I can get rid of the um, baby bug. Let's see. Might be able to get rid of the, just the baby bug outright. Let's see. Okay, yeah, I, I think I can just get rid of this bug outright. This baby bug. Oh, can I not use it out here? Can't ditch it. Alright, so I apparently have to come back out here. <laughs> Hopefully there's a place that I can ditch some inventory items. Because I gotta get that, uh... I gotta grab that hourglass thing. Alright, let's put use the baby bug here. Make it go gone. Bye-bye. Alright, let's exit again. Like the texture is glitching. All right, now I'm going to grab the hourglass, put the red sand in it, search that dude's body, get the healing item. Hourglass, interesting. All right, now let's search that dude's body. Okay. Let me go back to where we were. Our glass. Okay. Now what are we doing? Um, la 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 la. Take the hourglass and head back to the Arkham dorm. You can now use it anywhere inside. Everything will be restored to normal and you'll find it. Whoa. Okay. There's a thingy in there apparently. Um. All right. Works for me. See, what's confusing about this game is that it gives you a bunch of extra keys that you don't like actually end up using. So... Your inventory ends up being, like, clogged with just a bunch of extra shit you don't need. So it's really, uh... Kinda redundant. But apparently we don't need that buggy anymore, so fuck it. Alright, so apparently we gotta take this dude out again. Uh, la 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 la. Sayonara, asshole. That's the name of the weapon. Sayonara, asshole. All right, so... I'm going to guess that only works on uh, tra translucent enemies. Ooh, good point, blank shot. All right, let's go in here. Oh, shit. Uh... <laughs> Hold on. There's a, there's there's another way out of here. Oh my god. Go down. <laughs> Holy crap. Alright, now I'm gonna go here. This should lead to yeah. This'll lead to the poop dorm. The poop dorm. Alright, gotta clear this hallway. Perfect. And actually, there is that storage locker in the door, so I can just drop whatever I want in there. All right. So now we got to go in here. Apparently, we got to use the hourglass.
Now everything's back to normal. So weird. Hey, someone's turned the colors back on. <laughs> Someone turned the color back on. All right, and now there is a heart of stone. Oh, that's a noise. It's a heart of stone. So this is the heart of stone. The heart of stone? Now where do you put a heart? What does it even do? All right, so what do we do with the heart of stone? Um, Take the heart and head over to the kitchen and show it to Ben Gunn? Bio labs, you can start working on. Wait. Okay. Simple. Fourth sample. You can. Alien fluid sample. Wait, alien fluid sample? We got the tissue, but where do we get the alien fluid sample? Oh, wait. Get the trimorph sample from the trap. Okay, we did that. Yeah, we already did that. Alien fluid sample is um okay interesting do 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 do, do. Ba, 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 ba. all right so apparently we need to go to the kitchen got to go to the kitchen now that we got the heart of stone <laughs> weird all right well let's first uh It's weird, there's like a color palette on the wall. Painting! Ugly painting. Uh, right, where's the locker? Why would I need to bring the Heart of Stone to Ben Gunn? That's really weird. Okay. Locker! Let's put some crap in it. Um, firstly, let's make sure I don't need the red tag anymore. Red tag. Oh, that gets us into the kitchen. Um, okay, yeah, we do not need the red tag. Um, tag three. Let's see. Green tag. I wonder why they're not, maybe they're just numbered coincidentally. I don't I don't think I don't think the numbers on these have anything to do with anything. I think it's just literally a tag. Alright, so we don't need that. Um let's get rid of this. Oops. Let's get rid of this memo. Uh let's get rid of the baby bug remote. We don't need that anymore. Um I think we need the needle and thread for something. Yeah, okay, we do need the needle and thread. Um, radio, piccolo, la 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 la. And the watch. Wish we can get rid of the watch. All right, this should be okay. This should be, ad this should be adequate for the moment. So now we got to go um, to the kitchen, which I believe is accessible... It's not too it's not too far from here. The crank won't work. Shit. Actually that's fine. Cause this will get us back to the main hallway. Alright. I'm gonna stop in the rainbow room because we just did a bunch of bullshit. Also, lots of chaos requests that I hydrate, and that's probably a great idea. Cheers! Got a little bit of liquid death left. I go through the liquid death by the gallon. All right, let's use this computer. And do a save. I think we got a, got a couple saves left on this computadora. Yeah, four saves. Perfect. One, two, three, two, three, one. All right, stagger. Staggering. All right, so let's check here. Uh, 
Okay. Interesting. Four gigabyte download. Fun. Oh, hope it was good stuff, whatever you got. Um, all right. So I'm going to switch to the piccolo because we got a bunch of piccolo ammo. Am ammo. And we're just going through a redundant area again. That was, that was fast. All right. Um, so I do need to go here. I think the kitchen is not too far from here. Um, actually. I think it's relatively close by from... Let's see. Okay, now we are in... Oh, shit. Actually, you know what? Um... Oh, that thing just glitched out. Okay. Crab ring you. Get in my belly! Massive armored coach with crossbow, dude. Oh, nice. Oh, is that one of... Your, uh... It's like something you can print. You miss anything and saying, oh, we just, we went to the necropolis and, uh, we, uh, we went into a locker room that was in full grayscale, black and white. And we had to, we had to use an hourglass that we found outside on the Martian soil to return the color back. And we found a heart stone and now we need to go to the kitchen to find this dude that we met earlier and things will be afoot. No, crab rangoon, evil crab rangoon. No. All right. Shit. Uh oh. Uh, Oh god, this is not good. This is not good at all. Ooh, all right, that's good. I'll take that. Come on, asshole. Awesome, that was beautiful. I will gladly, gladly take that. All right, so apparently hourglass fixes it. I don't even know. I don't. I couldn't even tell you. All right, so apparently we're fine, supposed to go with this Ben Gun guy now that we've got this heart stone. Um, I'm not sure why. Oh, it looks like this is open now. So now we can play in the... Whoa, what? What's happening? Wait, what the fuck? Ben... Wait, Ben Gunn's head? How goes the run? You almost at the end. Maybe. According to the, according to the walkthrough, we are. Uh, So, apparent... Wait, there's a, gu there's a guillotine there. So Ben Gunn chopped his own head off? Weird. Wait a minute. There's a fancy little card beside it. Why the f why'd he chop off his head? Uh, that guy was a little crazy. Oh, there's... Th All right, let's examine the silver platter. Hmm. Decap attack. Hope you're doing well, Dan. Uh, examine sand. That looks like the sand from the hourglass. Sand from the hourglass? What the fuck? Bacon slicer. I thought it looked legal, and it was. Kenzo is just... Feels nothing. Okay, so what's this... Invita wait, invitation? What is happening? So I have Ben Gunn's head. I don't know why. Why are we gonna pick up his head? It doesn't feel quite dead. Exam. I aspire to be the creature of my own creation. This may come in handy. Thanks for helping Angel. And if I'm up and about it, about later on, it won't be me. P.S. Whitaker called. What the fuck? All right. So, according to the walkthrough. We now need to get these items over to the lab. <laughs> and uh, Matlock needs to take helm and do stuff with them. Marie, and Marie Antoinette birthday party, or costume party. It sounds like there's Crab Rangoon in here, by the way. There's Crab Rangoon noises, I don't like it. All right, can, can I, damn it, I can't put his head. I can put the heart of stone, so I am gonna have to take Kenzo to the uh, to the lab. Are the game makers fans of professional Russia else? <laughs> what does everybody want? What does everybody need? What does everybody love? Oh my god! Head. <laughs> so funny. Owl, snow, and head. Classic. <laughs> All right, so now I can go back to her. Well, actually, I gotta, I gotta shoot a bunch of fuckers. You're old. We're all old. Yeah, I watch. I watched me some WWE back in the, back in my day. Back in, back in '98, '99, '97 as well.
Damn it, the crab rangoon keeps changing color. Goes from fr fried to, to goes from fried to to moldy. Did chant did that chant in high school pep rallies? That's funny. What does everybody want? Fried to cursed. It's probably it's probably better uh better compa comparison. All right, so Kenzo, welcome to uh Diane Matlock section. Hard foundation, nasty, but yep. Yes, sir. Okay, so where we need to go is this room. Teachers weren't as amused. I love it. All right, so according to the walkthrough, here's what we need to do. We need to take Ben Gunn's head. We need to uh, take this body right here. We need to... Uh, that belongs in a morgue. Slab, hold on. I think we can access the body from the other side. Rock wrestling area, yeah. All right, use corpse with. Uh, apparently, we use the heart of stone. Okay, we can't do that yet. Uh, we can use Ben Gunn's head though. Because why not? Why not just you know take our friend's decapitated head, put it on a weird monster. Um, now can we use the heart of stone? No. Can we use the needle and thread? No. We need some medical touch. All right, so oh, shit. So now we have to bring Matlock all the way back up here, so she can finish the job. So what I'm gonna do, Doctor Franken Frankenstein? Indeed, this is wild. Holy shit! All right, let's put the Heart of Stone here, and um, let's see, I could probably send her some Piccolo ammo to be honest. Um. I'll just give Kenzo enough so he can just vacate vacate Splitter. the premises. Enough just for so he can get out of here. Um, and put the heart of... Actually, let's send this up. Actually, along with the health item as well. So send these up. And then we will stash... The heart of stone and needle and thread here, and so now he will exit. He's the one that called Doctor Field Gold. He's the one who makes it all right. <laughs> See, we were able to bypass a huge part of the game because we were able to. Um, well, here, let's just put him in the chemical lab uh, because we didn't have to. Um, what you call it? We didn't have to bring a second character down to the necropolis, at least not initially. All right, let's see. How many saves do I have here? Three. Perfect. Booty full. Booty full. All right. Um, 55. So let's do 31. All right. So now we need to bring Matlock all the fucking way up there. Got to get our girl all the way back up. Matlock, good point. No, that's different. It's, it's Diane, Diane Matlock. Her name's Diane Matlock. All right. Let's grab the vac tube. Um, let's pull down whatever we sent up. All right. We should be good to go. Um, we have a decent amount of Dillinger ammo. I might lean on the piccolo just a smidge, just so I can clear a path. Your grandmother would love Matlock of Murder, She Wrote. That's cool. The classics. The classic, the, 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 the classic shows. Damn, that was, that was down to the wire. All right. Matlock's gotta go back up. Gotta take the long way. The long way up. Long way in the wrong way. Don't take the wrong way when you're trying to go the long way. Murder count. <laughs> yeah, you'd never know. Oh, fuck me.
Ah, the plot. The plot lines, of course. Of course it's the plot lines. Oh my god. Alright, uh, not here. Where am I? Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm like, oh, shit, okay. I said those at the same time. I'm like, oh, shit. Alright, I'm gonna have to switch to the Dillinger now. Starting to get, things are starting to get hairy. Um, so with that, let's see. Alright, that's one. How about you, snake? Man. These bastards get harder and harder. Okay, yeah, this is the correct way. This is this the that especially shitty hallway. This this part right here is a butt clencher. Okay. Come on, move. Alright, uh I think this is the correct way, maybe. Yeah, perfect. Okay, this is exactly where I want to go. Stop blocking my camera, ass butt. All right. No, don't. Oh my god. I don't know about the She says this every time, and I skip it every time. All right, let's get the hell out of here. I gotta go back to the lab, so I could sew some dude's head on and then get some plot. Get some more plot. Oh, cool. This dude's that that glitching uh that glitching zombo is just chilling there. Piccolo! Head for some dude's plot. <laughs> yeah, we gotta, uh... Gotta head to the lab and sew, sew, uh, Mr. Man's head on him. Ammo is meant to be wasted, apparently. But yeah, the, the head which drives the plot. The plot which drives the head. Which drives the head. Alright. Ah, Crab Rangoon! Oh my god! You're supposed to be asleep. Go to bed. Asshole. All right. We need to go into the... Shit, the B-Lab, actually. Frick. Go. There we go. All right. Now let's uh, let's check our health. All right. Health is... Could be better. All right. Now let's grab the um, the needle and thread. Heart of stone. Crab strain, vi viral Martiana, exactly. The crab strain. All right, so now let's. Apparently, we need to put uh, the heart thing on this. Wait, I thought we added the head to that. I don't see a head. All right. Wait, no, I don't want to use the computer yet. My body is not ready. Okay. So let's. Uh... Why can't I examine the, the ye old corpse? Hey. Here we go. Alright, use corpse with... Okay, so we need to use the needle and thread first to sew the head on. You know, no big deal. Just sewing a dude's head on, on, on some random body that clearly doesn't belong to him. No problem. Despacito 3. Oh, man. This is crazy. Alright, come on. Now we, wait, not the centrifuge. What about the heart of stone? Still gotta use that, right? Use corpse with, here we go. Heart of stone, there we go. Now give me that plot. It's so weird. Ah, oh, the heart of stone has stirred her. The heart of stone. Oh, he's talking. 
Queen Mab only has eyes for me, blind to all others. Now you can approach her, heart in hand. But tread softly, my friends, tread softly. Okay, bye. Take f now I have a flesh heart. <laughs> what the shit? That's crazy. All right, we got the flesh heart now. Now that we have the flesh heart, we have we can go all the way back down to the regal tomb and place it in the niche. Send the laser scalpel, the flesh heart, and the final syringe over to Kenzo and, and take him down to the necropolis. The Sayonara will make his trip a whole lot easier. When you reach the regal tomb, put the heart inside the niche and you will see... Okay. La 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 la. Oh, I see. Two people operate the crane and Karn should be in... Shit. Alright, hold on. So we need two people down there? So we need Karn and Kenzo? Um, okay. A raging orchestral concert after party had just concluded but then, a mad scientist had just awoken in the middle of their storage unit in a pile of Legos and spilled bourbon. But then like they went to their refrigerator and chugged 114,742 gallons of butter. Finn. Finn! What's up Skulls? How you doing? That was a good one. Oh, Fortuna? Oh, Fortuna indeed. All right, so let's see. Uh, vaccines. All right, so what we need to do? Oh, this stupid! Th we never deactivated this thing. It's fine. All right, so we need we need to get two people down to the crypt. That's horrible. So apparently we don't we don't need Matlock to be downstairs. So I'm going to send all of her high-end weaponry over to uh, Karn. The brain hurting rock. That thing only sometimes messes with us. I mean, it still sucks, just only sometimes messes with us. All right, so I'm gonna send the Diabolus over to Karn. Um, and I'm gonna send the, oh, actually let's just send all the ammo. I try not to like waste it. I'm gonna try and you know try and be sparse in case we need it for like something later. Um, but you know, just gonna set him up for success. Um, let's send him a shitload of piccolo ammo, am ammo, ammo as well. That'll help out. And some Dillinger ammo as well. All right, let's get that sent up. All right, switch over to Mr. Karn now. Mad scientist in the story because of where, yeah, yeah. This is this this game is just getting all sorts of crazy. We're we're definitely near the end, thankfully, which is not something I thought I'd ever say. Oh my god! Provided we don't die on the way, you know, just trying to. Half the fun is getting there. We're basically completely out of health items right now. <laughs> In like every capacity. Shit. Oh. Now we're out of health items. <laughs> Shit. And we need to send Ken we need to get Kenzo a lens. Um, alright, so. Shit. Alright, let's do this. Drop a save. Not yet! I like to live dangerously. I like to live dangerously. Um, okay. We can just overall just ditch the nail gun. I don't even think we need that anymore. Um, don't know why we have so many four lenses. We only need, yeah, anyway. Um, okay, Piccolo is good. Dillinger, la 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 la. Get rid of this. Can't get rid of the letter. All right, what is what does he have? Um, so he's got Di Diabolus sandwich. Shit, there's a Diabolus in the, uh, in in front of the elevator. Forgot about that. Yeah, he's kind of strapped for ammo. But apparently his sayonara will make his trip a lot easier, according to according to things. Kenzo the Lenzo. 
Exactly. Oh, wait, shit. I need to actually send one over to Kenzo. So where did I last leave Kenzo? Okay, he's in the he's in the science lab right now. Or the chemical lab, rather. So perfect. Okay, so then what I can do is um, before I start stashing random shit, I should probably send stuff over to Kenzo. So let's give him a little bit of piccolo ammo. Um, we'll send him a lens. Um, okay, I've got the laser scalpel on Karn. Uh, who needs to have that? I need to... Flesh heart. You'll have to go way back down to the tune. Send the laser scalpel, flesh heart, and the final... Oh, final syringe. Um, I think that's actually in the room that Kenzo's in currently. So, let's see. Let's send this up to Kenzo. Let's uh, go here. Switch over to Kenzo. Alright, I think the syringe is in here, actually. Sure is! Awesome. All right, now let's get rid of this invitation. I don't think we, uh, I don't think we need that anymore. Perfect. Um, okay. So we also don't need the nail gun, although we're kind of out of completely tapped for inventory space. Um, all right, let's go ahead and operate this thing. these down. Get rid of these. Alright, he should have enough enough to get where we need to put him. Um, okay, and then what does he have here? Alright, he has a lens. He has an extra lens he can get rid of and the nail gun as well. We got the Diablo Plus printout. Here it is. Sorry, we don't, probably don't need that either. Alright, um... So let's swap over to Kenzo. Let's make sure he has everything he needs for the big journey. Or Karn, rather, not Kenzo. Um, all right, so now we will go ahead. And actually, we can just, we could probably use one of these lockers to ditch, ditch some stuff. Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe we've already filled them up. Okay, we got, a, we got a little bit of wiggle room. All right, so let's ditch one lens. I, on, I do not know why there are four lenses. Lens. Okay, it's assumed that there are some items that aren't used, like an alarm clock and the fourth lens. The fourth lens is just kind of a troll item, apparently. Um, weird. All right, anyway, not important. All right, let's get rid of the printout. Um, so now we have this. So do I need to... Who needs to have the laser scalpel right now? Let's see. Um, Kenzo needs it. All right, so Kenzo needs the laser scalpel as well as the syringe and the heart. This is crazy. I don't know how anyone could possibly beat this on their own without a strategy guide or just any, any, any semblance of sanity. It's crazy. It's fucking crazy. All right, so now let's go with Kenzo. Yeah, if I wasn't using this guide, we'd be just... I don't even know where we would be right now. <laughs> we'd just be like, oh, okay. All right, it's fine. We're, we're making it work. We're, we're, we're getting through it. All right. And we're just... We're so close to the end. I want to see this all the way through. All right, so now we should... We need to send Kenzo down to the down low. He is within distance and additionally there is a Diabolus uh, on the way um, let's get rid of the nail gun all right we just need to stay alive and kill everything slowly because we have zero health items left and that sucks um, supposedly his sayonara weapon will help kill shit but I feel like it always misses when I shoot things but we'll try it we will assume that this will get the job done and tonight, are getting close. I th I think I think we're close enough to the end to finish it tonight. We're just we're so damn close to like just fucking rocking this. I want I want to see this through. I think I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna push it. According to the guide, we've got we we're just finishing this section, which we've have like two and a half paragraphs left, and then the final section has like three paragraphs. 
And a lot a lot of a lot of this stuff is just them like explaining shit. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes when I'm like really close to the end of games, I just keep going. Just, I'm feeling I'm feeling some closure potentially. And I like closure. <laughs> I like the idea of this game ending. All right. Um. All right, let's get the hell out of here. And maybe one day I'll remember how to do quick turn in this game. Oh, right. You hold down the run button and then you press down. <laughs> which is a which is something I've just haven't been using cuz I keep forgetting. All right, so let's make sure I have everything. I've got the... Shit, I don't have the heart. I do not have the heart. Uh, What can I do? I can go... I can use her. Okay, let's switch over to her real quick. I can send that to one of the tubes, and then Kenzo can grab it when he's down below. Who needs sleep by Baron... <laughs> Who needs sleep? And I had, a, I had a bunch of caffeine earlier. So I'm like, just ready to keep, keep, keep partying. All right. Um, so, let's send the sample. Oh, right, right, right. Uh, oh, wait, hold on. All right, there's a couple, there's a couple things we need to do. Um, let's just set up, set us up for success. Um, so let's go to, let's go to, uh, Karn real quick. I need to check on him. Okay. Karn is here. What's his inventory look like? Okay. Perfect. Okay. So what I need to do is I, apparently Karn is a demolitions expert. <laughs> so I need to send him, um, let's grab this. I need to send him the kaboom de booms. Oops. Wait, I can't. Give him the explosives? <laughs> Split person. Wait, what? Oh my gosh. Okay, hold on. So I cannot. I. Hmm. I can't put the explosives in the tube. Carl will set the timer. Hmm. Interesting. So <laughs> I have to figure out some way to get the uh get the explosives over to Karn. Um, let's see. He is he isn't that far, so I may need to use a common locker to do that actually. So I should set that up. So what I could probably do is, since Karn is not that far from where I am currently, um, let's go into, where can I, where can I ditch this? Here, let's go in here for a second. Oh shit, no, let's not go in here, actually. <laughs> that room sucks. That room is bad news bears. Okay, what I could do is this. Let's go in here since this dude's like chasing me. Um, Karn is currently in the big room, <laughs> um, which is not too far from where Homegirl is. So what I could do is temporarily put him in here, just for safekeeping. Just let that close, nice and safe, hopefully. Um, and now I can run her over to that segment. Hopefully that's not too close by. Oh shit. Oh my god. <laughs> How is she doing on ammo, by the way? Um, uh, she's fine. She'll, she'll live. It'll be fine. Alright, so I need to go here. Oh my god, the... This is ridiculous. <laughs> Just want to do one little thing. All right. 
How's she doing on health? Oh, she's almost dead. Cool. Oh. Well, hopefully that stone doesn't go off. All right. All right. Let's pop in here. Hopefully we don't turn into a trimorph. Um, so I guess she can just grab, grab a lens. Why not? Um, I need to, actually, I need to put both things in here. So let's just grab these. Let's put the detonator. Oops. Let's put the explosives in the hatch. Let's put the pump or bleh, put the detonator in the hatch. Um, uh, I'm going to equip her with the Dillinger and I'm going to send her back to the lab. Carefully send her back to the lab. Oh my god. She also has like the the grenade launcher on her. And from what I understand, we just leave her up here. Alright, asshole. You are you're been like ruining my shit. Asshole. Resident Evil into Tetris back 200 times. Oh man, it's wild. All right, we gotta do, we gotta make one more pit stop. Ghost and Goblins NES. Once you beat this, J.K. That was just a dream. Do it now. Do it for realsies. You butt ass. Now the real fight begins. All right, I do need everyone else's blood. So let's get everyone's blood samples. Okay. Good. 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 All right, now we gotta we gotta get to the lab, and I think she just needs to chill. I don't think she has anything else that she needs to do. If I find a health drink, I'll send it her way. Yeah, I totally get that though. Okay, so now what are we doing? Um, we are going to the beta room. Realizes copyright for realsies. I could barely even beat the remake. That game slayed me. Um, all right, let's just let's see here. Uh, oh, interesting. Oh, wow. Okay, awesome. Okay, good news. All right, so we can move on. Uh, <laughs> so now what we got to do is we got to get uh, Kenzo. Um, we got to get him downstairs. Stat. So where is he? Where'd I put? Where'd I put Mr. Man? Um, oh, right. I got to. Uh, oh yeah, the elevator's right there. Oh, I see this ass ass butts woken up. All right, let's party. It's Dillinger time. Ooh, good good critical shot. I love it. Okay. All right, Diabolus. All right, so what do I need to do? I need to get him over to. Uh... Oh shit. <laughs> I skipped a step. I gotta won't gotta do one more thing. All right. Really coming down to the wire with with Miss. All right. So now we gotta send the heart. This is so wild. We gotta send the heart down. All right. So now she'll be on standby up here. Perfect. All right. So now, when Kenzo gets downstairs, we can grab the, we can grab the heart thing. All right. Let's do it. So supposedly his Sayonara gun is 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 OP. Apparently, I'm just really bad at aiming. <laughs> All right. So we we can freely use the Sayonara now. We can freely use it. 
Oh, we need, uh, let's use a lens first. So we can see. All right. So now I need to get to a transport uh, thingy. All right, it does work. It's just janky. It's just janky as fuck. All right, so good to know. All right, so let's look at the map. Um, so I assume that, let's see, the sarcophagus thing, where is that? That's going to be at, let's see, uh, Regal, okay, where's the Regal Tomb? Which point is Regal Tomb? Let's see. Regal Tomb is section... chamber sayonara when you play just sci-fi splooge noises it's true three obelisk obelisk puzzle point four unless it's past point three that must be it it must be uh yeah, it's got to be that. So, if the elevator's where we are currently, we need to just go uh, go straight away. <laughs> yeah, that's what it looks like. Okay, so that's what we're doing then. Okay, so we need to go... Shit. Gotta make sure we're going the correct way. Oh, here, let's use this thing and grab the, grab the heart thingy. All right, vac tube. Give me the stuff. All right, we got the heart. Awesome. Um, hey, Karn. Actually, hold that thought. Don't don't hey Karn yet. Oh shit. Yeah, that, that that's why I didn't hey Karn. Because there's anemones. Anemones. Wait, what's over here? Oh right, this is all right. This is the kaboom de boom section. That I'm gonna need to send Karn actually. Nice. When it works, it works. All right, let's see. So the kaboom de boom section where we currently are, that is... Let me get a visual aid going on so I can figure out what I'm doing. Um, that is here. So we need to follow this path. We basically need to just keep to the right. As long as we keep to the right, we will end up right here where that uh, sarcophagus thing is. Oop. And that's where we need to go. And then we'll have to bring Karn down there, too. And the boyos can do their thing. All right. So let, let us do it. So, yeah, I just need to exit and just stay to the right and destroy anything in my path with my Sinara gun. So if there is, basically just follow, put my hand on the wall to my right and just follow it down. When it works, it works. Oh God, Crab Rangoon. The, the real, the real nemesis. When it works, it works. When it doesn't work, well, shit. <laughs> this is cutting it, cutting it kind of close. All right, I hear bastards. Can't see them though. All right. There we go. All right. 
let's do a let's do a check. Oh my god, our health is in shit shape right now. Um, all right, check the map. We're in the section central segment. Um, so I want to just stay to the right again. No. Oh, fuck. God damn it. Yeah, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to pick and choose where I use that weapon. Cause it, it takes a second to recharge. And it's powerful when it hits its target, but otherwise it just poops itself. Yeah, this, ge this game is very, very mean. Ash Ashler Wraith in the building. What's up, friend? How are you doing today? Hope you're doing well. Happy Tuesday, officially. Hail to the king, baby. baby. <laughs> Hail to the king, baby. All right. So, um, you know what? We have enough Dillinger ammo to... Well, no, we don't have enough Dillinger ammo. We do have an okay amount of Diabolus ammo. Okay, did I already send the thing as her? Okay, I still need to do that. Well, hopefully we can, uh, you know, distract you from whatever's going on with some crazy Martian Gothic madness. <laughs> um, Mr. Banana. Yeah, Mr. Banana's sticking it out. He's sticking around. I think he's, I think he's asleep, but... He's, he's with us, uh, in body. All right. In body, mind, and soul. So let's, let's, let's say, let's save ourselves a step here. Let's grab the heart as is. Yep, this, this is, uh, this is a PS1 game. This is Martian Gothic. This game came out. Uh, put this here. According to the according to the box, it came out in uh, I think 2001. Yeah, 2001. I knew that. I was second guessing myself because we've been playing a lot of games from the era. Yeah, this this came out in 2001, and uh, it's uh, it's it's a unique one. That's for sure. All right, I got one save left on this computer. This little, this little particular computer. All right. The game's all glitching. And thank you for the follow. Uh, follows are anonymous here. So uh, if you're lurking, feel free to continue enjoying your lurk. If you want to pop in, say hello. That's totally cool, too. All right. But yeah, we are we are finally nearing the end. It's been taking, taking forever to get to this point. <laughs> it's pretty wild. But we did it. All right, so we are exiting stage left, and this is not stage left at all. This is the opposite of stage left. That was you. Oh, I appreciate it. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thanks for being here. Thanks for hanging out. Yeah, we play a lot of retro horror games up in here. This one's definitely one of the more unique ones I've ever played. It's, a, it's got a lot of, lot of inventory management, a lot of... Spur of the moment decisions, a lot of experimentation. Doesn't tell you too much as to what you need to do, but you know, you're making it work. <laughs> Resident Evil, yeah, it's this is it's it's essentially like a oh shit, like a Resident Evil One style clone, if you will. Next week the game again from the top. <laughs> yeah, right. I refuse, but I definitely do want to watch the speed run of this. I wanna I wanna know what the runner does. In all the situations, because there's a lot of shit going on. Almost too much shit. <laughs> Almost too much. Alright. So now we're back here. Um, machine pistol. It's a... It's a piccolo. It's a piccolo gun. It's called a piccolo. Can hardly see a thing. Oh, right. Gotta use the lens. 
It's a piccolo gun, and the zombies don't... The zombies in general don't stay dead. They 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 remain... The, the dead walk, as they say. The dead walk, and they continue to walk. All right, so I basically need to get to that furthest... That far point, so let's check our map. Um... So yeah, the only thing to really do is... So we can go to the, the back wall and then keep right. Wrong war of a clipping, yeah. A little over an hour for the run, yeah. Just doing some, doing some ultra crazy shit. I wonder if I can actually get away with using the Diabolus gun uh, in some of these tight sections. That might uh, that might benefit us. Yeah, thanks again for hanging out, everyone. Thanks for sticking it out with me. I know we're going kind of late. We are very close to the end, and I want to see this through. It's time. It's time for this game to end. It's time for Martian Gothic to to meet its untimely demise. How much ammo did we waste in that? We wasted about a hundred, a hundred ammos. A hundred ammos. This crab rangoon can fuck off. I wish I wish the uh, the map in this game was just more like descriptive in general. <laughs> All right, and just you know, it was it was able to easy and intuitively like tell where. Shit! Oh, that was that was almost bad. That was almost a collision. It's almost a collision course. All right, we're almost at the. Oh, there's the, the Sharon Stone zombie that just loves to block my camera view. All right. Yeah, let's move. All right. Um, shit. So now we're kind of in a little confusing point. All right. How are we doing on ammo for this gun? Kind of running low, so we can switch weapons shortly. In fire. Magic. He's using magic. Oh, he's got some <gasps> healing item. Fuck yes. Give me that shit. And forever. I'll take that forevs. Standing in the middle of this colossal cavern, sculpted by beings thousands of times older than humanity, I feel as small and lonely as an atom. Small and lonely as an atom. Stop talking to yourself, Kenzo. <laughs> Kenzo, you're crazy. You're crazy, sir. You're crazy. All right. So, we're almost, I know we're almost at the point that we're looking for. Um, okay, actually, I think this might be it. Potentially. Oh, pinfire, I got you. It's just, uh, I don't know, the gun's called Diabolus, and it's just a little, I won't say it's an Uzi. It's just, you know, a double, a double, a double pew 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 pew. It's got the pew for your pew. All right, I guess we'll go this way, maybe? Adam, what's up, dude? It's March 22nd. Yeah, it's the, uh, it's the day after the, the spring equinox. 26th anniversary of Resident Oh, nice. And what better game for us to play than this game? Okay, awesome. We fucking made it. Awesome. Yahoo. Perfect. All right, let's put him in a safe place. Um, and let's go f facilitate a save. Um, with probably Karn, actually. Actually, I might be able to use uh, her computer just to do a save. Scorpion and MP5 enemy. <laughs> 
<laughs> there you go. Now today they're going to announce Resident Evil Village Remake. My body is ready for a Resident Evil Village Remake. Oh my god, what is happening? In this? Everything's like flickering all crazy. This far into the game. Yeah, I've, uh, we, uh, everything is like glitching now. Like the, 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 the computers are glitching. I don't know if that's intentional or if it's just the game losing its shit. I'm willing to believe the game is just losing its shit. Nothing, nothing is working as intended. I mean, the base mechanics are just the textures are being all weird. Things going crazy, but all right. So let's get down. Let's get down to the down below. All right. So now, now, all right. Here's the thingy. Here's the thingy. So we got to go to that niche, I believe, which I think is right here. Yep. There's the niche, and we got to use. Um, according to this. Double check my notes here. La 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 la. One fresh corpse. Yeah. Fresh off the rack. Alright, so um Let's see. Okay, so we gotta put the heart in the niche. Oh, what the fuck? There's something in there. There is something in there. All right, what else do we need to do? Um, oh shit, now we gotta get Karn down here. So let's see, where can we stick Kenzo? Um, that thing is ginormous. It looks like absolute death. Let's 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 take a peek see. It can actually shit itself right there. Yeah, no, it's true. <laughs> Soup's true. Alright, let's just chill here. Alright, you just uh, hang out, sir. I gotta send I gotta send our other guy down. Karn's big epic adventure. Alright, he's got tons of Diablos ammo, so we should be good. Um, to just go and do our thing. Um, he's got a, a good amount of Dillinger ammo as well. So let us go on an epic quest to save save the world. Um, wait, hold on. Forgot to do something. I skipped a step. Wait, door. God damn it. The hitbox for that door is like so everywhere. All right. Kremlin main hatch. All right. So not that. Oh shit. She's got the explosive still. Fuck. Uh, all right. I got to make a pit stop as got to make got to make a pit stop. That's right. Cause we died. We died. And I forgot to do a couple things. Capcom reports say they're going to HG remaster. So that'd be cool. I'm d I'd be down for that. My body would be ready for such things. Well, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. <laughs> it's reliable. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Oh, shit. All right. So I'm going to need to uh, access... Well, Karn's going to pass this point anyway, so this is perfect. So we'll put the explosives directly in here. And then when Karn runs past it, we can grab those. That's what we'll do. All right, so let's go ahead and go to the beta door. Texas, you know the phrase too. Well. Oh, I got you. That's, that's funny. I got you, I got you. All right. Glitchy, glitch, 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 glitch. All right. Um. All right. So let's go ahead and move Karn into position. All 
All right, so he's got, I'm gonna initially give him the Dillinger and then once we're down there, we'll switch to the Diabolus. The Deezy Bleezy gun, easy bleedsy. All right. This game has honestly been a wild ride. It's been, it's been an emotional ride. Mostly me just losing my mind. The magic pinfire machine pistol. Don't leave home without. But apparently incapable of killing zombies. Apparently all the weapons in this game are incapable of killing the zombos. Have a great night, Meow Mix. Thank you for hanging out. I hope you have a great Tuesday. All that stuff. Thanks for hanging out with us. Appreciate you. Sleep well, friend. We'll catch you later. Remake of this. Yeah, no, this 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 is a very novel concept. I think if they brushed th this... The plot is cool. I like the plot. The plot of this game is interesting. It's just the the engine is trash. The engine and the and the the lack of intuition is just garbo. But beyond that, it's a pretty cool idea. Some plot armor. <laughs> oh fuck, I was not looking. I didn't even realize this guy was up. I didn't even hear him. I didn't even hear him wake up. Asshole, but we got that critical shot on him. All right, so now we're going to switch to our Diablo Blas. We're going to get to uh, the point where Kenzo is. And also, actually, can I already do the... Okay, no, we got to do the we got to do the crane first. Got to do the crane first. All right. Use elevator. <laughs> Shit. I don't think I need to send it up. Or did I literally... Now he's... In nah. The zombies actually, they, they're not infected with anything. There's apparently just a psychic creature that's controlling you gotta hand it to controlling the them. Do I need to send up the bad. elevator? I know about these things. Was that something I needed to do? Let's see. Um, I should be able to call the elevator, right? Use elevator. There, there's no, like, call button. <laughs> but you can only use one character at a time. Uh, here, let's see. Do, 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 do. So it was earlier wanted me to bring Ke bring Karn down. Um, let's see. Obelisk. Arena sites. Just refer. Check my notes. Yeah, they all, they all, they all, they all got some... They all got some intuition. All right, let's see. I'm actually gonna pause this, um, so that dude doesn't wake up. All right, kill the trimorph. Okay, elevator revisited. Stand in front of the elevator, not inside. Search the area. You'll see the elevator and the missing drive belt. Okay, wait, we already did that. Um, and then that's when we took uh, Matlock down there. Extrudes. Okay, where's the point where it said bring Karn down? Okay. Bring Karn down to the Necropolis. You'll need him for something else. That's really weird that the elevator isn't responding. That, uh... I don't think there's anything in there about it. This is odd. You gotta hand it to the Vita crew. They're bored a real mean drill shaft. I know about these things. <laughs> Oh, elevator button. There we go. <laughs> Found it. Just in an awkward location. Figures. All right. Elevator. Use it. Use it or lose it. All right. So now we're down here. Going to use his lens and we're going to go to where... Oh my God. Seriously? Wow, that was almost bad. All right. Now I can see, but it still looks like hell. Still looks like hell. I love it. All right, um, he should be safe in the elevator, but I am going to go as Matlock and burn a save on her computer. <laughs> Looks like hell. Yeah, look, everything's just glitching. Not sure if, uh, not sure if that's intentional or not. <laughs> Honestly, couldn't tell you. 
All right, um, 20, so we'll do central. All right. It's all, it's all bananas. It's all bananas. All right. So let's go ahead and uh, let's go. Um, we need to go. Yeah, it's it's all wild. It's gotta you know take it one day at a time. <laughs> all right, so. All right, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to hold it down. Ooh, that was close. Got that double kill. I love it. All right, so now we basically got to go down the corridors that we went down as Kenzo, and hopefully uh, nobody wakes up. Oh, of course, of course everyone wakes up, but hopefully they will leave me alone while I go through. Okay, we're here now. I like that we can run and gun in this game. That's something I appreciate. We can move and shoot while we move. Dead se yeah, it's uh <laughs> dead sexy, I get it. Yeah, it's the Sharon Stone zombie. Sharon Stone imposter zombo. God damn fucking crab rangoon. Piss off with that. Go away. Alright. Oh my god, I didn't I did not even see that guy. Oh my god. Karn, please don't die. Please don't die. Oh my god. He doesn't have any like health items. Alright, so I gotta It's down to the wire. Tell you what. Alright, keep moving. Almost in, almost in position. Almost in, almost in position. It's all wild. It's all wild. It's all a simulation. <laughs> Just kidding. All right. Um. Yeah, we've already like searched every zombo body. All right. Um. Shit, turn the fuck. That's gonna, this is gonna kill us. But at least we, at least we created, yeah, we created that save when we were in the elevator. Game over, yeah. <laughs> Sayonara. Sayonara, marinara. I know we are going the right way because of the, uh, the narrow corridors. All right. All right, let's go. Let us go. Oh, that's right. I can go right through here. So actually, this'll, this'll help out a little bit. And then, no! <laughs> God damn it! God damn it! Damn son of a bitch! <laughs> I did not mean to do that. All right, let's try that again. <laughs> One more time with, but with feeling. <laughs> it's a crisis! Oh, you bet your ass it's a crisis. Oh my god, that was ridiculous. Ridiculous. All right, let's try that again. It's all good. No worries. It's all a simulation. Okay. Um. All right, here we go.
All right. About that. <laughs> let's 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 go around to the right. How about that? Let's let's go the other way. Let's. I keep accidentally running into a hole. I keep forgetting there's a hole there, and then I keep falling into a hole. Wee. Wee goes the astronaut. All right. Let's 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 go a different way. Let's just instead go to the right, like we were originally planning. Indeed, Firefly. It's it's madness. It's madness, I say. All right, this fucker's waking up. Well, my gun, my gun's waking up. My Tommy gun's waking up. My machine pistol's waking up. All right, let's look at the map real quick, so I can just. All right, the kaboom de boom section is to our right. Um, we, we do not want to go, so we just want to go directly straight and follow the path. Just, we just want to stay to the right, basically. Doesn't help that this keeps happening. All right. Crab Rangoon! All right, this is that weird zigzag path. We just want to stay to the right at all costs. Stay, keep keep our hand on the wall to the right and just follow it around. Tech <laughs> All right. Oh, these tank controls. All right. All right, they're might be okay we're you hear that, Doug? oh I'm my god on. it's rambo rachel the amazing miss rambo rachel coming in with that corny ray what's up everybody how is it going rambo rachel my wonderful wonderful friend how is it going how was the stream how was the katamari I just fell in a hole. <laughs> but what's up, Raiders? What is going on? What's up? We got Self Corval in the building. Hello, my fellow pornographer. We got Unnatural 20 in the building. We got Reese 93 in the building. We got Rambo Rachel in the building. Young and Boy in the building. We got all the hype. Please follow my wonderful friend, Rambo Rachel. She is an amazing, amazing human. She is great people. Her streams are tons of fun. And thank you for the follow, by the way. I appreciate it. All our followers are 100% anonymous, so if you're lurking, please continue to enjoy your lurking. If you want to pop in and say hello, that is totally cool, too. But Rachel, how was the stream? And oh my god, Rachel, thank you so much for gifting a tier one sub to Reese93. I greatly appreciate, appreciate it. it. Great, great to have, to have you, you all here. Say, 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 say this. Coming, coming in with my, my crazy voice. My girl. Why have you done this to me? <laughs> Gosh did darn you like it. that Rambo Rachel? Oh I man, you did. that was a zinger. But thank you so much again, Rachel. Please follow Rambo Rachel. She's a wonderful and dear friend of mine, and she deserves all the love. And she's trying to get to over almost 600 follows by her birthday in May, and I think she can do it. So be sure to show her some love. She is awesome. She is amazing. Yo, holy shit. Terrace Goliath. Come, wait, wait, hold on. Some, what? Hold on. What? What? Terrace Geolith. Holy shit balls and ass, Tarith Geolith. Thank you so much for the 10 piece, 10 gift subs. Holy shit. Going out to our community, our wonderful community. Going out to Low Cost Machine, Tubin Monkey, Seraphonimus, Ionix 11, Gus Grimm, Sciensomnia, and Meow Mix, and I Pity the Fool, and Aaron, I, Aaron, Aaron underscore. <laughs> Thank you so much, everybody. I really appreciate it. Thank you very, very much. And also, Metal Waldo, thank you for gifting a 
tier one sub to Terrace Goliath as well. I appreciate it. You all are so amazing. I appreciate you all very, very much. Thank you again, Rachel, for gifting that sub to Reese. And thank you so, so much again, Terrace Goliath, for gifting that 10 piece gift sub to our community. I really appreciate it. Amazing. Thank you so much. I'm going to shout out Rachel one more time because she is amazing herself and she deserves all the love. Rambo, Rachel, Let's thank you go. for the 100 bits. We're already in a level four hype train. We are near the end of Martian Gothic. Finally, this game is finally almost coming to an end. We're doing an extra little long stream tonight because we are making great progress. But hope you're doing well, uh, Rachel. Hope the stream was fun. Hope the Katamari was kata awesome. Kata crazy. Yo, Rambo, Rachel, thank you very much for gifting a tier one sub to Skulls Night. Skulls Night, enjoy your DJ Rebirth sub for the next 30 days. Emotes and ad free viewing. You know the drill. But thank you so, so much, everybody. Really appreciate all of you and your amazing generosity. Thank you for supporting the stream. Thank you for being amazing as fuck people. I super duper appreciate you all. But yeah, we are we are near the near the near the end of uh Martian Gothic. We are in the the Necropolis underground. We got a couple more things we need to do, uh, but we can fall in the pits and uh, eat shit and die. So we got to be very careful. Hey, Science Somnia, how are you doing? It is great to see you as always. Another wonderful horror enthusiast. I'm just getting lost, basically. I knew where I was going and then I got lost. Oh shit! We we okay. Here's the place. I found the place. Oh shit! Uh oh. But great to have you all here. Appreciate you all very much. Thank you for being here. Thank you again, Rachel. You rock. Oh my god. We are like completely out of health items. We are in a very tense section. <laughs> this dude's chasing us. I got a machine pistol. Alright. Th this game, this game has zero tutorial. This game is just like a figure it out. Alright, so now I'm gonna save. And our other character. We still gotta synthesize a cure, but I'm gonna save above ground. It's got uh, it's got all the magic. I can't tell if the game is glitching or if the, the computers inside the game are glitching, but we are figuring it out. <laughs> but yeah, hope again, hope Katamari was a ton of fun. I saw your clip of the, the Katamari ball making weird groaning and moaning noises, Rachel, from the other day. That was uh that was something. But Rambo Rachel, you fucking rock, dude. Yeah. What? Okay! All right. So now we apparently, according to the walkthrough that I'm following, <laughs> because this game is not intuitive at all. I just said fuck it. So I'm following a walkthrough, but it's still, like, pretty ridiculous. Andoink did a great job. Yeah, Andoink is a master, master at his craft. He is a legend and a master at his video editing craft. All right, so apparently Karn can just use cranes. He knows how to do cranes. Oh, he doesn't know how to do crane stuff. Hell yeah. He's going to do some crane stuff. All right. So now, um, use control panel. Oh, we're moving the crane. We're doing the thing. All right. We're doing stuff. All right, so now I think we need to switch over to uh, Kenzo. It's quite the animation. It's quite quite shenanigans. All right. All right, so now I think we need to climb into the crane. This is wild. Uh, hydraulic platform. Hydraulic platform it's powered. powered already. All right, so let's use the platform. And now we're just going to be, you know, casually um, dropped into this ancient uh, Martian alien uh, sarcophagus. Kind of like, uh, you know. Um, wow, 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 wow. Uh, hey, nice. nah, Dave's logic. Thank you so much. I appreciate All right. Well, I thought I thought we were about to. This this stone up up top is still fucking with us because I just didn't go out of my way to deactivate it. All right, that was weird. Let's let's try that again because we're supposed to go inside this uh this this sarcophagus. That was really weird. I don't know what happened. All right. So use winch. Oh, it might have been because I pressed a button to cancel the animation or something. 
Okay, I think I think I need to press down. I was pressing up because tank controls. Thank you everyone so much for all the gift subs and all the biddies in that incredible hype as heck train. Thank you for the 13 gift subs and the 169 bits. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you for your support, everybody. Oh, here we go. Okay, now we're Tom Cruise in Mission Impossible, lowering into this alien. Oh my god. This cannot be safe. Alien breast sack. There's an alien breast sack. All right, what do we need to do? I assume we need... Thank you for the follow, by the way. Follows are anonymous here, so if you are chilling in Lurk, please continue to enjoy your Lurk. All right, so what we need to do is use... Um... Oh, we need to use the laser scalpel to cut through the breast sack. This is crazy, dude. We have, we have cut through the breast sack, and now we need to, uh, let's see. We need to use a syringe to extract some milk? What is happening? All right, let's get some alien milk, I guess. All right, we got our, we got our alien breast milk. Good to go. Congratulations. This is crazy, dude. Oh my God. All right, so now I need to go and send this upstairs. Um, to our science lab. Milk blood sample. Wow, that, that, that's, that's something right there. Aliens have booba confirmed. 1289, dude. What's up, dude? Hope you're doing well, man. Frankenstein cake. Yeah, this is, this is crazy. So now we got to send the alien breast milk up top so we can synthesize some, some, some stuff. Alien milk. Yummy yum. All right, I assume this zombo is going to wake up, so let's... Uh, okay, I got my machine pistol ready to go. Can't sleep. Well, I'm staying up way, way past my bedtime because I want to finish this game, and we're actually pretty close to the end. Um, But uh, good to see you, 1289, dude. Hopefully I can distract you and help lull you to sleep. All right. Acid. Oh, yeah, I, I get that. I, mean, I understand that, I should say. All right. Alien milk is out of this world. Ha! <laughs> Got him! <laughs> All right, let's put in the vac tube. Uh, let's send it up. Um, all right, let's get him in a safe place. And then we're going to go to Diane Matlock upstairs, and if hopefully if the video isn't, like, too glitched, um, we can uh, synthesize a, supposedly a cure or something. <laughs> Good old anatomy. He might alienate me. <laughs> I would have normal milk, not alien milk. That's fair. All right, so now what do we need to do? Um, everything you need to complete your antidote. Three vaccines, make sure everyone gets one. Ah, uh, interesting. Okay, so what we need to do is put, go into the thermalizer. Which one's this? Okay, open the thermalizer. Similar to humans, simply because of the breast milk. Obviously, it, it has to be. It just, it's just so logical. It just makes, yeah, look at this, just, this, these textures are flipping out. I don't... I'm not sure if that's supposed to happen. Yeah, it's definitely not supposed to happen. All right. <laughs> so let's use the vac to pasteurize it. Drink cow milk. Isn't that alien? I mean, it's, it's terrestrial. Cows have eyes above their noses, just like everything else. We sweep. <laughs> All right, let's put this in the thermalizer. Mission like... Oh, my God. I can't even imagine. That sounds crazy. It sounds like Matlock is supposed to chill up here anyway, so I may actually send uh, additional Diablo ammo down. All right, so what do we need to do? Put the milk in the thermalizer, everything you need to complete your antidote. Uh, are you going to tell me how to do it, game? All right. I guess not. We just got to we just gotta wing it, basically. All right, so let's go ahead and use the computer. We know what it is, but not really. All right, so... Uh, John Farr. Illegal operation. I'm just pushing buttons. Illegal operation. What do you mean illegal operation? I'm making I'm make illegal operation. I'm making magic happen. Oh, I think I have to put everyone's blood under the uh under the microscope. I think that's what I need to do. 
Wait, did I not grab it? Oh, no, because we had to reload the save because we died. Yay. All right. Pit stop. Got to do pit stop. Do we have enough ammo? Uh, not really. Like, not really at all. All right, we got to go to the med bay. Stat. Before this fucker wakes up. He woke up. Texture rate, yeah, it's, this is wild. This this game just gets glitchier and glitchier. It, it would make sense that this game would just start glitching the fuck out as we approach the end. It, ma it makes sense. All right, so let's get the blood. The blood da 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 Ghostwire Tokyo? I'm, I'm interested. I'm, I'm, I'm interested. I went on pre-order. Um, it looks cool. It looks, it looks pretty cool. All right, so this is the way it's gonna be, asshole, huh? One final, one, one final combat for the road. Once it comes out and I hear some, you know, some reviews, we'll see how it goes. I mean, I'll still play it. <laughs> Big alien mommy, indeed. All right, so I guess I need to individually put to each blood sample under the uh, under the microscope. So not this microscope. Oh yeah, we gotta do we gotta do one at a time, maybe. No. All right, maybe I put in the thermalizer. No. Okay, I'm kind of confused. <laughs> what do we need to do? All right. Um. What about this thing. Oh, the centrifuge. There we go. Yeah, we got to put all the blood in the centrifuge. Okay, now we have everyone's blood. I knew I skipped a step. All right. Computer. All right. So, analyze everything. There I we go. With Cockles, Khan with Bacillus, and Kenzo with Spirillum. Ben Gunn's blood shows a looped combination of all three, yeah. each negating the other. In the trimorph, the three bacterial strains have merged into a new structure. Ah. Self-regenerating, self-replicating, deathless. Deathless. Sounds good, Metal Waldo. Thanks for hanging out, buddy. Appreciate you very much. Sleep well, dude. I hope you have a great Tuesday. Great rest of your week. All that stuff. And we'll catch you later, my dude. Later, boss. Yeah, no worries. I'm sticking it out. All right, I think I did everything. All right, now what? Did I did I make a cures? Did we did I do it? Virus antidote. We got it. We got the antidote. We got all three. So now I gotta send uh, I gotta send the antidotes down for everybody. You'll get three vaccines. Make sure everybody gets one. Okay. Perfect. All right. So uh, first for her. I'm not going to uh, use all three on her. All right, so she's she's cured. So now, technically, after everyone's cured, I'll be able to actually have my characters around each other, and they won't they won't merge into terribleness. Although I am curious what would happen is if I if I just put uh, Kenzo and Karn next to each other. Probably nothing. It'll probably be the same animation. Immortality. Ah, uh, yes, very good. Oops. All right. So let's put both antidotes into the tube. Let's send it down, and we will do one character at a time. Um, but first, let's go ahead and save. Now that everyone is cured. This game is fucking crazy. Like, not only is it just programmed weird, but it's also just the plot just keeps spiraling out of control. It's so wild. It's a blessing, but a curse. <laughs> now nah, just drink blood. Drink the human's blood. Just kidding. All right. Um, only if you're Nicolas Cage, though. All right. <laughs> Blurst. All right, we're on the last section now. All right, so now let's swap swap characters. Let's get uh, Karn out of the forklift or the this thing. Use control panel. Get me out of here. Oh, maybe I need to move this first before I can open the door. <laughs> All right. 
All right, so now let's go this way. Hey, look, it's our buddy. Let's hug him. Let's go hug our buddy. It's okay, our friend is cured. Oh, interesting. So actually, when, once you have one character take the um, take the antidote, they no longer, your characters now can be within proximity of each other. So now we just need to cure them for good measure. That's cool. Fucking finally. All right. Oops. And uh Karn Karn's got some got some shit to destroy. And actually um yeah, let's here let's do this. Here. Better work. Better work. It's gonna work. All right. He's now cured. Now we'll just get him in a safe place, and I'll get Kenzo over to his. Still frozen in a creepy way. It's because no one, there's no puppeteer to control them. The puppeteer is indisposed. All right. So now we'll go ahead and, oh, Karn, you are not getting attacked. Karn, you're fine. Yeah, see, he's fine. Karn is not in danger. I can literally see him. I have literally removed the threat. The threat is gone. There we go. The threat has been removed. All right, so vac tube. Now for Mr. Kenzo. Groovy. Groovy. <laughs> Groovy, that's all he says. All right, everyone is cured. And if there was an achievement, that would be it. All right. So now what we need to do is... Um, I need to get him to a safe place. Kakarak was a giant bug with his breast milk astronauts free base. Yes. Good end. But wait, there's more. There's one more thing we got to do. Um... First, I'm gonna switch back to Homegirl. I'm gonna do one more save now that everyone has been cured. We got one more thing we gotta take care of. Six saves, perfect, plenty. Good number. All right, so now we gotta get Karn to that fissure, um, kinda in the beginning of this area, and he's just gonna, he's gonna pop his explosives and make shit go kaboom. Okay, perfect. All right. So, yeah. All right. So, all we got to do is... Let me first put uh, Kenzo in a safe place. So, Karn can do his thing. It's pretty wild. Pretty wild. All right. Oop, wrong way. Kenzo is now in a safe place. Um, let's get Karn. All right, let's see what we're doing. All right, so we have plenty of Diablos ammo. We got the explosives. No health items, so we got to just literally fucking kill everything. But now we got to uh, got to blow this place sky high, apparently, according to according to the guide. So here we go, map. All right, so we need to just basically stay. Yeah, we just need to like literally hug the left wall. That's all we need to do. Hug the left wall. And, you know, pop this place and we're good to go. Get off this rock. Oh, shit. All right. Uh, that's a cliff that we can fall down as, as, as evidenced by us falling down it many times. 
Um, all right, I th think this is the way. This is it's where things get kind of weird. We've seriously not even used Karn's ult or Kenzo's ultimate weapon all that much. So it like takes forever to like charge up. It, it just barely works. Works when it wants to. All right. Uh. Yay! I just went in a circle. Go me. <laughs> Try that again. Martian Gothic, House of the Worm. Never known Game of Thrones artist to did a Oh, that's interesting. This this game has uh, has implemented some fuck on my brain. I I'm not uh, not wrong. Half the fun is leaving. All right. Don't fall down. All right. This way, I believe we need to go. All right. I'm just. The Sharon Stone zombies lead to the exit, of course. I think. You can't town twice. They got they got to nuke this base from orbit. Oh, God damn it! Of course the Crab Rangoon would interrupt my shooting. That would happen. Old Dune audiobooks. Some insane pride. Oh, man. I believe it. How are we doing on health? Uh, not very good, so... Might have been a good idea for me to grab uh, Kenzo's health stuff, because we just got to do the main stuff as uh, Karn now. It's Crab Rangoon! Final answer. I don't make the rules, okay? I don't make the rules. I just... I, I just call it like it is. How are we doing on uh, machine ammo? Okay, we should be okay. We should be good. But yes, it is the Crab Rangoon, Sci Insomnia. It is, it is what? It is the crab which rang Rangoon. Oh my God, the most worst enemy in a video game. Calling it. Fucking Crab Rangoon. I don't even know if we have iframes. I feel like, I, I, yeah, it's literally damaging us. We're just, there's no damage animation. I swear to God, if the Crab Rangoon is the death of me, I'm just gonna... Yeah, fuck you! Oh God, oh, we woke it back up! So again, these zombies, once they're on the ground and, like, more or less unconscious... Um... If you shoot them, they'll wake up. It's kind of, like, really weird. Oh my God. Oh my God, we are... Our health is in trash shape right now. Shout out to Crab Rangoon for ruining my day. I may have a I may have a workaround though. We gotta we gotta move fast though. I may have a workaround. Exit wounds. What's up, friend? How are you doing? Health. Nope. I have I have a workaround. I just gotta. I have a workaround. I just gotta I gotta see this through. Elden Ring, that's cool. Hope you're enjoying. Yeah, let's let's uh, let's not fall into the hole. All right, but actually, we're in the beginning segment now. So now, um, <sighs> gotta do two things here. Firstly, if we stay to the right, the kaboom de boom section is there, and we also need that first. Storage box. All right. Okay, here we go. All right, I need... I need... Uh, hold on, let's check our ammo. Okay, perfect. All right, I need to switch to Kenzo ASAP. And I gotta move to that tube and send my uh, my health drank over to... Uh, over to Karn. Like, fucking ASAP. The game may throw some red herrings at us. The Karn is in danger. Mm -hmm. 
Karn, you're fine. He's fine. The game, the game is being a troll. Oh shit. Except now I'm out of. What the fuck? I have no words. It might have been that rock, unless Karn may have been poisoned and I just didn't notice. He might have gotten crab rangooned. With my luck, he probably did get crab rangooned. All right. Um. All right. <laughs> Bad sushi. All right. Yeah, we gotta we gotta be diligent to kick kick the crab rangoon ass. All right. So we'll do this then. Let's uh we'll switch to Kenzo. Bad sushi. Since we can't hand our other... We can't hand items between characters. At least I don't think we can. They, they never, like, implemented a, any sort of, like, inventory. Like, here, hand this to your buddy. Yeah. So we gotta do it through the, uh... We gotta do it through the pipe. The last health item. As we figure our way out of here. Alright. No, not dead body. Alright, go to the tube. Sounds good, Skulls. Have a good night, dude. Thanks for hanging out. Sleep well. Catch you later. Yeah, we're going late. We're going to finish this game. It's time It's time for this to end. Once and for all. <laughs> it's been a wild ride. This game has been a wild ride. I, I, I have had some joys from it. Once, like, working through, working through the bugs. After the fact, it's been pretty, uh, pretty interesting. Use the tubes, you know it. Tube the use, use the tubes. All right. So now we'll get that health drink. We'll go blow this place up. Assuming I have the explosive. Okay, I do. All right. Take health boost. All right. Now, um, we need to. So we need to hug the left wall again. <laughs> Ashler with a honk. <laughs> All right, asshole. Nobody comes between me and my explosives. All right. Don't fall down. Don't do it. These tank controls like to be tank trolls. Tank trolls. Oh my fucking god, holy shit, Burger Pits, good morning, how you doing friend, actually it's almost the afternoon, where you are, well not quite yet, but Burger Pits, thank you so much for the tier 2 sub, or the tier 1 sub for 2 months, I hope you're doing well my dude. Good to see you, family. I'm a ding dong. Good morning, legend. Good morning, you legend. I hope you're doing well, dude. It's good to see you. Yeah, hey, we're uh, we're burning, the, burning the, burn, burning the. Oh shit! There's the crab rangoon. All right, this 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 was the fucker that totally thwarted my progress before. But yeah, we are approaching the end of Martian Gothic, and I want to see this bullshit through. Our progress got thwarted by crab rangoon last time. All right, there we go. I'm sure it's gonna respawn. They always. Seem to respawn after I destroy them. Oh my, yeah, see, told ya. See, there's already another one chasing me. It's like so pointless to try and kill them. Thank you, Deus, appreciate it. Have a nice sleep, dude. Appreciate you, thanks for hanging out. Thanks everyone for sticking it out with me. We are gonna finish this damn game. We are so close. I gotta work tomorrow, but I don't care. I want this game to end. Oh, shit! <laughs> oh, my God. These crab rangoons are so friggin' like, relentless. It is ridiculous. I have no words other than shit. Goddamn crab rangoon. Oh, my God. Why are you blocking the camera? Stop blocking the camera, you dick. All right. Ah. <sighs> Nuking Mars would be a bad idea. We're like nuking it from 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 within. We're we're blowing up a volcano essentially. 
We're, we're popping we're popping the inside of a volcano. Hey, Deus Ex, thank you for the uh, one breast milk bitty. I appreciate it. The alien breast milk bitty. Shout out to alien breast milk. You'll see this. Yeah, we all need closure. This is this is a group effort. All right, this is a, this is a group a group effort. All right, I think that green area is the place that we want. Yo, Rambo Rachel, thank alien you. Alien booba. Thank you for the alien booba bits. I appreciate it. <laughs> all right, here we go. This is the section that we want to be. All right. Oh shit. Hold on. She said the thing. Yeah. There's always time for booba. Alien bobs. All right. Um, so before things get crazy. Volcanic vent. Damn thing looks engineered. Engineered. All right. All right. Here is the strike point. All right, so what I need to do, Wade, start the reactor. Quade. All right, I'm gonna do one more save as our girl. Save game. It's happening. All right, um, same thing, stagger save. All right, so now as Karn, we need to we need to set the explosives and blow it up. All right. Um do, 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 do. Got it. Okay, perfect. All right, time to set the explosives. Actually, let's heal first. <laughs> Before we do anything, let's heal. All right, now let's set some explosives. Use Fisher with explosives. No. Do I need to use ex? Do I need to like use the explosives? What do I need to do? Yeah, as is. <laughs> All right, use detonator with explosives. There we go. All right, primed explosives. Use them. Yeah, as if. Alien mill. All right. Use the primed explosives. Here goes. Time, to, Time run. to run. Sounds good. Take care of yourself, Adam. Have a great night. Sleep well, dude. We'll see you later. All right. So now we just need to uh, leave. We just gotta casually leave, no big deal. Warning. That explosive charge you've just set will release a volcanic eruption which will obliterate not only the necropolis, but the entire base. The entire base! You don't have terribly long to escape, about five minutes or so before you're all burnt to cinders. Or maybe it's three minutes. Counting. Curse you, disembodied computer voice. Move on if I were you. I really would. You're all going to die down here. She says. All right. So apparently we just need to do this with one character. We just need to escape with one character and everyone will follow. But no epic uh, Resident Evil. Uh-oh. <gasps> Uh-oh. Oh, fuck. Oh, the thingy came out. The evil thingy came out. The evil thing that we stole breast milk from, it, it came out. What's happening? Why, why, why the base cutscene? Why are you showing the base? Oh no, everyone's waking up. We gotta get to the shuttle bay, basically. It comes and goes like a ghost. What is it? Flesh or phantom? <laughs> Please don't be introspective, Karn. We gotta, we gotta go, dude. Yep, timers. Oh, no! God damn it, as I walk directly into it. Ugh. The, the tank controls in this game are just, the, to the bitter end, they're just doing what they do best. Suck. All right. Let's get out of here. Let's see if I remember how to get out. All right, the elevator's right there. 
But yeah, no no epic escape music. Just 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 pure silence. Pure pure uh, the timer's running. Everything's calm now. Shit. Fuck you, I have to leave. Kenzo, I'll see you on the other side, brother. Gee, <laughs> thanks, game. Yeah. Thanks, Firefly. I'll do my best. My best. All right. Well, now, now I know what I'm like up against. So now I can kind of take my time. I mean, not take my time. We gotta escape, but uh, yeah, no. All right. Yeah, I can't even switch between characters. That's funny. All right. My dude, my boy Karn, doing the thing. All right. So we need to, um... Let's go! Thank you for the encouragement, Science Omni. I will do... Oh, what?! What the fuck?! All right, well, now I can't get hit by anything. <sighs> this evil-ass game. Oh, great. Crab... Crab Rangoon! All right, well, I have to assume that every enemy is just gonna, you know, wake up and try and poop on me. All right. Save the alien if you could. It's mine. It's all mine. All right. Um. All right. Shuttle bay is this way. Shuttle bay is this way. Let's go. Oh boy, I sure hope Crab Rangoon shows up to try and fuck my shit up. Thankfully, the shuttle bay isn't that far. Oh, no, 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 no. Damn it, Crab Rangoon! God damn son of a bitch! Killed by Crab Rangoon. Should I be surprised? All right, thankfully, we made a save right before things got crazy. Now I know where shit is. Perfect sound. <laughs> I can't think of anything more appropriate. <laughs> Alright. Alright, um, oh shit, I... Wait, did I not create a... I thought I created a... Hold on. I thought I created a save, like, right, uh... Right at the fissure. I should have a, I should have a save uh, on that further point. Hold on. Pretty sure I made a save there. I just probably loaded the wrong one. Oh, 1505. There we go. Fif so the game thinks I've only played it for 15 hours and 5 minutes. Because the, the in-game timer resets. For In reality... We've spent like, oh my god, like 50 hours on this game, if not more. All right, let's blow this place sky high. Let's go. All right, let's heal. Let's combine this shit. Oops. Uh, detonator with this. All right. Now we're going to use this. Do this. Here it goes. Here it goes. Time to run. Time to run. Time to run. All right, let's go. Hopefully I can skip the computer cutscene. The computer taunting us. Well, thanks again for hanging out, everyone. Appreciate it very much. You all rock my socks. You have no idea how happy I am. Oh shit! So if I if I skip the computer dialogue, I actually have more time to escape. That's funny. And I actually. Well, okay. Let's let's. Oh, there's the there's the evil, the evil nemesis come to destroy us. Queen Mab, as they say. All right, so yeah. But yeah, skipping the um, I guess skipping the computer dialogue saved us a little bit. Putting the evil behind us once. Absolutely, it's closure. Closure is important. It comes and. I know. I I agree, Karn. Let's just let's just let's get out of here, sir. Let's get the let's get the shit out of here. Let's, let's get the show on the road. Milf Queen. 
Oh, man. All right. All right, this is personal. What would be really fucked up is if... I don't think they will, but if they, like, threw a trimorph in our way, like, as we go to the... Uh, wait, no, not the... Oh, hey, there's a vac tube here. I never even noticed that. Uh, is if they put a trimorph in our way between this and the shuttle bay. You don't get a boss. Apparently, you can fight it, but I don't... I don't know if you can kill it, and I don't even know if it's worth it. Worth it to fight it. I honestly don't even know if it's chase chasing after me right now. Rachel with the honk! The honky honk. The honkity honk. We're so damn close. We're so close! Alright. Alright, there might be an asshole on the other side of this door. Uh, I have zero control. Script. Oh, that's got to be scripted. That's got to be fucking scripted. That's that's. I bet that's script. Well, I don't know if that's scripted. It's still annoying. Oh, hey, we forgot to grab Kenzo's health drink. Cool. All right. Awesome. <laughs> Yay. All right. Well, we just gotta watch out for that killer crab rangoon. Yep. It's gonna it's gonna go kaboom de boom. It's gonna be many 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 a kabooms. In the near in the near future, future. Gotta go go go! All right, let's get this shit on out of here. Oh, the crab rangoon come from there. All right, you know what? Up yours, dude. I've been dealing with you assholes all day, all all, all game long. Alright, now let me just get a lead on you before you, like, you know, respawn. No, shit. Uh-oh. Go, 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 go. Oh my god, these tank controls. <sighs> Keeping things interesting to the bitter end. Alright, let's go. No! Oh no, poisonous crab rangoon! That's, that's worse! Alright, it's, it's, it's running away. I, I'll take it. I'll take it. This is the, the true the true nemesis chasing us. The poisonous crab rangoon. Alright, let's go. We're almost there. We're pretty close. We're pretty close to the shuttle bay. Go, 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 go! Let's get out of here! Open the door control! Hey. Are we cute? Looks like it. We're standing right beside There's you. There's zombies here! Happening. Good work, Matlock. You too, Kenzo. Let's get the hell out of here. Alright. And so we go. Go, 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 go. What? I'm overriding this paltry onboard computer to deliver a rather important. What is happening? Within a minute, this entire craft will be overwhelmed by molten lava. And more bad news: the shuttle bay roof hatch has become disconnected from the internet system. What? And can be opened by manual means. Only. Manual means? I just released the manual override lever in the bay. One of you will have to run terribly fast and throw the lever. Oh out. shit. Why is this AI such an asshole? So we gotta throw a lever, apparently. Oh shit, there it is. There it is, there it is. Alright, we gotta... Alright, Karn. Let's do it, dude. Let's do it to it. You got this, man. Oh shit. No! God damn it. Fuck. No! No, fuck you. I gotta, I gotta do this. Oh dear, you seem No, to shut up! Just thirty seconds left. Stop taunting me, computer lady. Twenty-eight. Oh gosh, what am I doing? Why waste the last seconds of my unique existence ticking off a set of numbers? I'll spend my final moments contemplating the concept of thisness in twelfth-century scholastic philosophy and the ontological significance of hostess trolleys. Au revoir. Sayonara. Goodbye. 
Hard cheese? What a dick! That was deliberate. <laughs> I didn't even get a sayonara. <laughs> oh my god. I think that was a troll. I think I was supposed to skip that dialogue. I could have pulled that off. Alright, I'm going left this time. I'm going left this time. <laughs> oh, what a dick. Hard cheese. I hear that. All right. All right. Oh, right. I do have the I do have the healing item. I just Yeah, all right. Anyway. All right. All right, we can do this. We we got this. Here you go. All right. Let's skip all the dialogue and move fast. Speedrun style. Characters just frozen in place cuz yeah. We have to we have to listen to the computer make its noises. Is. Warning. Shut up. <laughs> troll computer. You're just that old lady troll computer from uh uh Galarians. There is the evil the evil monster that chases us that we're just going to kind of peace out. Humans can't move listening to speech. That makes sense. I wish I could skip this, though. Alright, let's... Any, any, any time now, boys! It comes and goes now. Yes, I know. It's very profound, sir. I, I, I appreciate the insight. However, we don't have that kind of time! No one can. You must obey. You must obey the computer. Obey. Obey. You must obey the computer. <laughs> All right. All right. Armageddon out of here. All right. So the lever. Uh, I forget where it is, but let's go around to the left instead of the right. Big generic bug monster. I knew it. With with the chesty milk. It's got milk. It's got the milk. All of the milk. Oh my Ooh, we we clipped through the we clipped through the the attack zombie. That's that's awesome. I don't know what we did, but we got through it quick enough so it uh when it woke up, it just uh we, we narrowly avoided it. I'll take it. I'll take that as a head start. All right, let's go. No! Oh shit, more crab rangoon. Oh, it spawned over there this time. All right. All right. Well, we got we have an antitoxin if we need it. Let's check on that. All right, we're not poisoned. We're still mostly full health. We got one more zombo to dispatch. I love how just like anticlimactic the sequence is like we just it's silence which you know isn't is not unlike mars i'm sure it's very with the exception of wind i'm sure it's very quiet there um but uh yeah it's a very calm sequence all right throw the switch hey are we all good? right so the lever is probably okay. on the opposite side, the side of the shuttle Gotta make it worth it. Hello. Hello. I'm overriding this paltry onboard computer to deliver a rather important message. 
made music for this part of the game is bugged. I don't know. I honestly don't know anymore. Your guess is as good as mine. Has become disconnected from the InfoMesh system and can be opened by manual means only. All right. The manual override lever in the bay. One of you will have to run terribly fast and throw the lever. Yeah, the lever. If you're very quick, you might just make it back before the shuttle takes off. All right. Yeah, I literally forgot where that was. So let's move. Okay, am I gonna go? Like, what? Why? What the fuck is happening? I literally can't. I'm stuck. I'm I'm trying to exit. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> Look. Oh dear, you seem to have. What? What the fuck is going? I literally can't leave the shuttle. I there. I cannot leave the. Sh I, it's it's bugged out. I can't leave the shuttle. The game will not let me leave the shuttle. Is this how Martian Gothic ends? Is it because I got here too quickly or unless unless it has something to do with me me skipping the sequence. It's possible because I skipped the cutscene that the trigger didn't load for the shuttle to open. Oh shit, look. There's a there's a explosion cutscene. That's new. Ending B. What's up, Glint? There? Yeah, I guess so. All right. So likely, what happened is it's because I skipped the cutscene. Um. It it didn't load the trigger for me to exit. Taken over by Just burn the damn thing. Oh my god, this is wild. Alright, so next time I'm not going to skip the cutscene. As a speedrunner, I want to skip all the cutscenes. Okay, we were able to establish that we were able to get to the shuttle, though. Um, oh wait, hey, remember how I need to like set the explosives? Should probably do that first, huh? <laughs> Keeping us on the edge of our seats, apparently. All the cutscenes but one. Alright. Um, here we go. Combine. This reminds me of the end boss from uh, Haunting Ground. It's in a, around, a, around a big old pit. Pit of fire and doom and death and doom. Well, thanks again for hanging out, everyone. Appreciate it very, very much. This is it. Martian Gothic is almost over. I cannot believe it. Feels like we've been playing this game for months. Well, technically like two months. <laughs> On and off. I mean, this isn't like the only thing we've been playing, but this is like our main, our main retro horror squeeze. And the next, next one on the list will be Dino Crisis 3, which I'm sure will be just as exciting. Just as exciting. All right. All right, let's -a go. It comes and goes like a ghost. What is it? Thank you for being introspective, sir. I appreciate it. All right, here we go. All right, we are not going to skip the cutscene to escape the shuttle. We will, or I mean, to enter the shuttle, I should say. <laughs> Let's let it play out. Lesson learned. Don't be a hero. I mean, be, be a hero. Just, you know. Be cautious. And fuck the crab rangoon. Let's see if we can avoid that, uh, that door zombie again. Maybe we just gotta move, like, super fast. Maybe that's the key. I wish, though, the surplus of time that we have going into the shuttle, I wish we would have that during the last sequence. That would be... That'd be very nice! 
medical baby. Everybody, oh! Medical baby. Oh, the med. Oh, the medical bay. Um, medical. The medical bay leads to an airlock. So, technically, this the medical bay is the door opposite the one that we're going through right now. But yeah, the med, the med bay just leads to an airlock, and we get we gotta go into space. We gotta jettison into the. Oh shit! Crab ring goon right off the bat. Love that RNG. All right. Are we toxined? We are not toxined, actually. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good, man. All right. Ah, the crab rangoon approaches. The true nemesis. And it doth change its color. Yeah, they change color. It's really weird. They like kind of go back and forth. I'm not really sure why. What is this dude doing? He's like just walking away, just like la di da di da. Uh, uh, uh. All right. All right. <laughs> I'm just gonna let the cutscene play. Just let it do whatever it's gonna do. I do whatever it's gonna do. Let them, let them, dilly dally and shilly shally, and just hey, do whatever they're doing. Cured? Looks like it. We're standing right beside each other. All right, so the lever has to be on the opposite side. So if we go around to the left, let's get the hell out of here. We can kill the two enemies and do our thing. All right. Hello, I'm overriding this paltry onboard computer to deliver a rather important message. Within a minute, this entire craft will be overwhelmed by molten lava. And more bad news, the shuttle bay roof hatch has become disconnected from the InfoMesh system and can be opened by manual means only. I've just released the manual override lever in the bay. One of you will have to run terribly fast and throw the lever. If you're very you might just need to end for the shuttle to Alright, there it is. Well, you're not, you're not like breaking any of my core rules, Asher, so you're good. What the fuck? I literally can't leave. I, I can't leave. I don't know what's happening. I, I literally cannot exit the, the shuttle. The game will not let me exit the shuttle. I don't understand what's oh dear. I've heard this game could be soft locked in some ways. Might have to restart. Yeah, that that's possible. That's very possible actually. Fun stuff. It wouldn't it wouldn't uh It wouldn't be fun if we didn't have to completely restart the console. <laughs> The chair collision. Yeah, it's all fucked. Yeah, let's just restart it. Game borked. Restart. This happened to me when I was playing um, uh, Fatal Frame 1. Like, I got to the very end, this part where you just got to use a mirror on a thing, and then the game would just freeze on me. I ended up just having to, like, clean the disc really well. Yeah, this is so weird. But I have heard that this game can be soft locked. So, fun stuff. All right, let's try this again. Is it as old as you are? Yeah, I'm playing this on a P PS2 Slim, which is sitting on a PS2, uh, the, 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 ch the chonky one. All right, let's do it again. Hopefully it works this time. See, this game isn't this game isn't letting me escape. This now now the game has become sentient. The game is sentient, and it knows that I'm trying to trying to end it once and for all. 
Here go. And remember, when I played um, Extermination, I got to the end boss in one stream, and then I spent uh, I spent an hour and a half on that stream uh, trying to beat the end boss and just could not could not beat it. And then I spent the next stream a uh, three and a half hours trying to beat the boss. So. I mean, this is just pretty cut and dry. Like, literally, just get out, escape, go, go, go home. Time to go home. Both a chunk of some. That's cool. All right, now we just gotta mull about microphone controls. Hey, microphone controls. What? What is this? L Lifeline. Oh, my, my. I, we're actually gonna play that game at some point. I have it over there. I got a rock band too, Mike, that we're gonna use. It comes and goes like a ghost. All right. What is it? Flesh or phantom? F flesh or phantom? I don't know, but I just want cutscene trigger. Damn it! All right. Let's All the marbles. Go. Thank you for the encouragement, Science Omni. We will do. This. Now I feel. Now I feel like shit that I missed it the first time. But I, I let the computer talk. That was that was my fault. That I stayed and, and I gave the I gave the, the computer the a say in my a say in my escape. I hope me skipping the computer's dialogue um as I exit the pit doesn't impact it. I don't think it does. So can I just go this way? Can I just say fuck it and just leave? No. Gotta fight him. Damn. First game's because of that. Well, my body is ready. We play jank as fuck retro horror games. If it's jank, I will play it. I will gladly play it. It's kind of kind of a central theme here, which is why I'm excited for Dino Crisis 3. Excited for Lifeline. Excited, just excited for them all. My body is ready. And then I just upload it to YouTube. Oh my god, I should have moved. So then I can be like, hey... I did that once. All right, let's get out of here. All right, no crab rangoon initially. Oh, there it is. Asshole. I was ready. I was waiting for you. Right, fuck off. Kindly fuck off. All right, let's go. Janky as hell. My body is ready. Oh, crab rangoon 2.0. Oh shit, there's two! What the fuck? How are there two spawning now? Oh my god. See, this game knows. This game knows that I'm trying to end this. This game's like, ah, I'll just send two at you now. What a dick. It knows. It knows what I'm trying to accomplish. It just knows. All right. All right, let's check on everything. We got plenty of ammo. Awesome. All right, good to go. Excuse me. All right. Here's what we're gonna do. All right, we're gonna we're gonna empty my gun, reload. All right. Now we're gonna use the door control. I'm not gonna touch anything. Hey, are we cured? Looks like it. We're standing right beside each other, and nothing's happening. Good work, Matlock. You too, Kenzo. Let's get the hell out of here. All right. I don't know. So anyways, I pulled out my gun. <laughs> Hello, I'm overriding. Alright, please work game. I want this to end. I've earned this. I've earned this. Oh, you know what? Maybe that's the thing on the wall right there. Can't tell. The shuttle bay roof hatch has become disconnected from the infomesh system. 
and can be opened by manual means only. I just released the manual override lever in the bay. One of you will have to run terribly fast and throw the lever. If you're very quick, you might just make it back before the shuttle takes off. All right. Let me leave the fucking shuttle, please. There we go. How how difficult was that game? Just 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 saying. Just saying. Just just saying. How di how difficult was that? It wasn't. You switch. I'm not going to examine it. All right, now go back. Go move. What? Go! Move! Did he do it? I hit the switch! I didn't examine it, I just moved. Please tell me he escaped. Ka Karn? Karn, did you escape? Did Karn get out? Did did my whole- did everyone- I mean, there's the lava! Did my- okay, the, the shuttle launched. Alright. Alright, we know that at least Matlock and, and Kenzo are okay. Bad knockoff corn. Did did Karn make it out? <gasps> we we got off that blasted planet and the molten lava exploded. Did Did I do it? Did did we win? There weren't any credits. Did did we win? <laughs> Howard Fancy Cat, what's up? I th I think we did it. There weren't any credits. What did did we? I mean, the the shuttle blasted off. I fuck it, we did it. That was Marsh. Wait, there's supposed to be a final monologue by the AI. Did I do something like wrong then? Like what? That. I put- I grabbed the lever? Was- was- did I do it right? Oh my god. You know what? That's the- that works for me. I think we did it, ladies, gents, non-binary pals. That was Martian Gothic. We did it. We prevailed, we defeated Martian Gothic after like 14 streams, 13, 14, I'm not really sure. But we fucking crushed it. Wrong level, wrong. Oh my god, that was insanity. That game was something else. Oh my god. Amazing. Well, everyone, I guess, uh, thank you so much. Yeah, we did it! We escaped! We kicked ass, we prevailed. And that was Martian Gothic. Hell yeah. Fuck yeah. One more round of applause for you all and for me sticking through it, beating this game, this crazy ass game. It broke me in half, but but we in here. So yeah, the next uh, the next game we're going to start is going to be Dino Crisis 3. Uh, we're going to finish up Elisa probably tomorrow. Uh, my sleep schedule is a little jank today, so we'll see what happens. Might take it out. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you for hanging out. All the dinos. Um, thank you everyone so much again for all the subs, the gift subs, the bits. Um, thank you again for the amazing, amazing raids from our wonderful friend, the amazing Miss Rambo Rachel, who you should absolutely follow. And thank you uh, very much to some other amazing raiders, Dr. Perry Falls, another incredible legend who raided us earlier, as well as Attack of the Geo. Thank you for the amazing raid, buddy. And our buddy, Walltop. Thank you, everyone. Appreciate you all very much. Uh, I'm going to see who we can raid right now. Let's see who's on. I normally have a raid target in mind, but my brain is fucked. But um, oh, I apparently had a cool down on myself. But thank you again for hanging out. Thank you for everything, everyone. I really appreciate it. Thank you for supporting the stream. You're all amazing as fuck. You're the bestest. I appreciate you. Thank you for... Again, sticking with me for all these crazy retro horror games. We go balls to the wall with the PS1, um, PS1, PS2 retro horror games, all that good shit. I'm going to go to bed. But first, I think we should go ahead 
And r -r 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 raid. Hold on. Let me make sure they're still on. Let me make sure they're still on. Let me make sure they're still on. <laughs> hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on, everybody. I know you're all very excited. Okay, perfect. Yes. Awesome. We're going to raid our wonderful buddy, Ekdysis, who is currently doing Silent Hill 2 hard mode speedruns. You know Mr. Ekdysis. He is a host of GDQ's speedruns from the crypt. He's a longtime streamer, speedrunner, friend, buddy, boyo. So let's go raid our wonderful friend, Mr. Ekdysis. So I'll see you in his stream, and then I'm going right to bed. Thank you again for hanging out with me, everyone. You're amazing. I appreciate you all. Thank you again for everything, Ramble Rachel. Thank you again for that raid. Sleep well, miss. Take care. Have a wonderful night. Sign Somnia. Wonderful seeing you. Have a fabulous, fabulous evening. Um, um, uh, wait, hold on. Let me make sure I initiated the raid. Did I do it? Okay, we did it. Perfect. All right, awesome. Uh... <laughs> Chaos, have a great night, buddy. Firefly, have a wonderful night. Uh, Ashler, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for the follow. Uh, Offworld Devil, take care of yourself. Armal Fancy Cat, nice to see you. Have a great night and day and all that good stuff. Um, um, Glinthier, have a great night. Chaos, uh, Mr. Battery, uh, uh, okay, uh, everybody, appreciate it. To use logic. I will see you all tomorrow for some Elisa. You are all the best. Appreciate you. Have a great night. Bye. Bye. We beat Martian Gothic. Fuck yes. Yeah! What? Okay! Oh, good for you!